Uh, uh, I'm still your boy, Governor Ace. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on today's live stream. Um, uh, today's forum. Uh, today, I'll be hosting. I'll be the moderator, and I'll be hosting the one. The I'll, I'll be hosting an important person. Uh, this gentleman is uh, is based in the United States of America. He knows politics politics very well. Uh, he has been in the system for a long time. Um, some of you have been watching his videos. Uh, his videos on YouTube. Uh, talking about Uganda and whatever. So I'm gonna be with him on this live stream today. We are going to be using English because uh, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't know Uganda. So we shall be discussing everything in English. So welcome on today's live stream. If you're there, just share, invite your friends because I know today it's gonna be so so interesting. Hon Michi, Karen from Bison, Lixili, Maria Munduga. I'm seeing you all. Emma vibes. Uh, so as you guys are uh, be sharing, be sharing, and um, uh, in a while I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be inviting him, and he will be joining us uh, on the live stream. We're gonna be discussing a, a lot and a lot uh, with him. Uh, actually, uh, the um, the discussion is just gonna be for like for it's just gonna be for like uh, let me say thirty minutes, but uh, it's gonna be productive. It's gonna be full of sense. We're gonna be discussing important things. Uh, concerning our country uh this forum for today is gonna be a little bit political so you guys be ready for the gentleman oh uh, try to share the live stream invite your friends because uh, this is really important what we're gonna be discussing is really important so you guys it's better you share the live stream I've, i love you all betty betty nagawa julie sharua lixley and uh, no share button i know there is a share button just because maybe your phone is having a problem but there's a share button um uh, i'm seeing you all guys share Share, 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 share. Uh, let me, let me, let me get back. I'm back, I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, someone, someone had texted me. Uh, sorry for that breakdown. Uh, there, there was someone who texted me, so I had to reply, and it was uh, the man himself, um, Professor Milton Arimadi. Yeah. I'm still your boy, Governor Ace. I'll be bringing you important people. Um, our our live tomorrow is it will be full of sense. We will we'll be discussing many things here. Uh, I'll be the moderator. Um, but what you gonna do for me, guys? Try to share. Try to share. I hope you know this gentleman is a very. Uh, I hope you know this gentleman, Mr. Sima Sam. I see you, my brother. I I hope you know this gentleman is very very influential in politics. Uh, he's uh, actually. Um, is a journalist at the same at the same time at the same time is a professor in a big in a big university in um in the United States of America. So you guys, I welcome you all. What you're gonna do for me is to share the live stream. I request you kindly to share the live stream. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, and everybody, if you online now you can comment. Then I invite you my then I invite you sir. If you are online, just comment and I invite you sir. Yeah. Me, Mr. Mitton, I've already, I've already sent you an invite. I've already, I've already invited you. So now it's you to comment. Uh. Birunji Busula is like uh, Uruzungu. Yes, I know English. I went to school. My sister, I was in school for something like uh, for a very, very, a very, very. F yeah, I was in school. I know English. My sister. Yeah. When I say that I don't understand English, sometimes I so so much. Oh, uh, Mister Mister Mason Arimadi, greetings, sir. I'm trying to invite you here, so uh, just just accept the invite. Then we start. Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, can I can see. see you. I can see you, sir. Um, yeah. Let me let me Thanks start for by. Me on your uh, let me start by welcoming you on this uh, on this forum for today. Uh, I really give you I really give you respect, sir. That's why I came to you and asked you uh, I asked you to to join the live stream to talk about the political situation of Uganda because because I know yes. you know it better than anyone else. So I'm very I'm so honored to actually to invite you here and. I accept my invitation. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, yeah, I'm very honored. I think um, 
I greet Ugandan sisters and brothers on the continent, yeah. uh, in diaspora all over the world, and of course in Sweden yeah. and here in the United States as well. Yeah. Um, I think all of us, all of us, should do our best to create a better country. Yeah. Particularly for the young people, as you yeah. know. Yeah. Uganda, seventy-seven percent. Uh, are aged under the year of 30. It yeah. means Uganda has the youngest population in the world. Wow. So we have to create, we have to create a better country for them. That is wow. our duty. Wow, that's really very yeah. nice. That's really very nice. Um, we, want, we want to make Uganda a better place for your generation and the generation that follows. That's really very good. That's really very good. And that's, what, know, and that's what we want. The generation that came before me yeah. were able to, to allow Uganda to become formally independent from British colonial rule. Yeah. So now the, the, the generation that follows should have created a better country yeah. where there's opportunity, opportunity for every Ugandan, regardless of what part of the country you come from, regardless yeah. of what political party you uh, support, and regardless, yeah. of, regardless of your religion. But yeah. that's not happened yet. So it is our duty to make that happen. True, 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 true. Um, uh, you are welcome, sir. Uh, today, actually, we're going to be discussing about how uh, the current political situation. Uh, we shall talk a little bit about... Uh, um, um, I, I hear that they want to amend the, situa the, the constitution. They want, they, they want to amend it. How, yeah. how, do you see, how do you see it? Because some people, they, they, didn't, they didn't welcome that... The, that 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 uh, actually they brought in that topic in the in the parliament. Many people did not like it. They are not happy about it. Right. So, Mr. Mitun Arimadi, how do you take about it? I think that's outrageous. Yeah. I think part of the problem, in in fact, look at it. <laughs> it's almost comical because the person who is the ruler of Uganda today, yeah, General Yoweri Museveni, when he took power in 1986. Way before you were born, perhaps. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was born, of, I was born 1992. You see? Yeah. One of the first things he said was this. He said the problem in Africa is that the leaders stay too long in power. And he said, and the good thing is, it's on YouTube, so people can go and research and watch it, and they can hear the words coming from his own mouth. Yeah. He said the problem in Africa is leaders stay too long, and that's how we create all the problems. Yeah. And he said, this is a new order. Yeah. This is going to be fundamental change. Yeah. We're not going to do things the way that the past regimes have done. Yeah. But 31 years later, he's still in power. <laughs> and, now, and now he wants to change the constitution so he can become a life president. That is completely unacceptable. Yeah, so just, change, uh, change, just, like, change, just this week. Uh -huh. Changing the Go constitution, ahead. that means that he, uh, he becomes the, the life president, a life president. Absolutely, because there would be nothing to stop him now. Really? He changed the constitution in 2005 yeah. when Uganda still had presidential term limits, meaning you come in, you serve two terms, and you go, and you give somebody else a chance, right? Yes, sir. Because not, no, no one person has all the best ideas in the world. Do we yeah. agree on that? We agree. So once you agree on that, it means everybody else needs to get an opportunity to try their own plan, to yeah. present their own vision mm. to Ugandans. Mm, mm. But if the, system, if the system is rigged to yep. support one individual, it means you, for example, you talking yeah. with me today will never be president will never yeah. be president of uganda and that's that unacceptable because yeah. i'm sure i'm sure you have good ideas you want to share yeah of course i have I'm sure you know, you know many people who have good ideas they want to share yeah 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 so how will we know that the people out there that may have better programs than the current dictator yeah. if they're not allowed the opportunity to do that. Yeah. That's unacceptable, and we must change that. In fact, <laughs> it is a problem that General Yoweri Museven himself pointed out when he came to power in 1986. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I always, so uh, now today, I always watch he has videos become on YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Witness that. Are you, I always, wa I always watch that video, his videos on YouTube. I see whatever he said. So yes. yeah, it's not new in my ears, but uh, that's not really nice if uh, if he wants to become a right president and um, it's uh, it's uh, it's unacceptable. I think 30, 31 years is more than enough for any president. Yeah. And then let's and when you stay in power for too long then many of the problems that we see today start presenting itself. True. The problem of corruption, embezzling of public funds. Yeah. The problem of national priority. The problem of not having an adequate education system. Mm -hmm. Ugandans that were, went to school in the 1960s and 1970s, they were able to access some of the best education in the world. And that's why today mm. they are operating all over the world. Yeah, yeah, in South yeah, yeah. Africa, in yeah. Europe, in the United States, these are Ugandans who had access to good quality education. By then, today, today that is not the case. Yeah. Today, you see students sitting uh, outside underneath trees. I saw. I with saw. No, with, with no books. That's not very really great. Let's go, let, let's go to the medical facilities now. Mm. You know, there's that outrageous story about a hospital in Moroto, right? Yeah. And anybody, anybody can Google this. Moroto, M-O-R-T-O. -O. In that hospital, when people die, they would remain on their hospital beds for three to four days. Yeah. The bodies uncollected. Which Ugandan can be proud to be associated with a country like that? Just think about that. Oh my God! Think about it's think true. about it. If that was it's if that was your relative lying on a hospital bed, dead for three to four days. It's so irritating. And then people, the other patients, of course, you can't stay there among the dead bodies. So they left the hospital building and they were sleeping outside, underneath trees. Oh Jesus Christ! This is outrageous. This is like something you would also, you would almost make in a Hollywood movie. Who can believe this? You can't believe it, I swear. If, 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 if you Google the story, you will see it. It was covered by the Monitor. Oh, my God. And then last week, I don't know if you saw yeah. that photograph. It was uh, going viral of a lady who went to a health uh, uh, a center. She could not, she was not allowed to deliver her baby so she had to go to the bush. Uh, yeah, I saw that picture. I saw that picture. I actually... Would you, want to, I, would you, as a young man, want to be associated with a country like that? Definitely not. We can stop this. So it is our duty to make sure that the dictator we have today does not mess with the Constitution and extend his regime as a live president. Because yeah. there are brilliant Ugandans all over the world. I'm sure right there in Sweden. Yeah. In Sweden, where you are today. I'm sure you encounter many brilliant Ugandans. Do you there not? Are, there are very many, very many. Do you not think that these Ugandans could contribute to national development back in Uganda? Of course, of course they can and they have to. And within Uganda itself. Don't you think there are many brilliant Ugandans who are being denied access to opportunity to contribute because they are not related to the president? There are very, very or because, many. Or because they don't come from the same region as the president? Should I call that nepotism? What about, what about the Uganda? Yeah, exactly, nepotism. Nepotism. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost like a one family rule in Uganda. Yeah. Uganda spread throughout the, um, the African continent with skills and with resources and with capital. And one individual is denying them the opportunity to come and help national development. That is unconscionable. We yeah. as Ugandans must not accept that. That is why I must say I'm very encouraged by the red bandana movement now. Oh, Ugandans are are uh, wearing but, red bandana but, in uh, Uganda all over the world. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. But uh, um, there's a way. There's a way they tricked it. Uh, now, um, uh, opposition they're putting on red bandana, uh, and NRM they are also putting on yellow bandana. What? What do? You, what do you term that trick of 
putting on a red bandana and the other part also putting a yellow, ba a yellow bandana. What is that? What's that trick? How can you explain that? It's, not a, it's not a trick. There's some element of fear. Yeah. Those individuals that are putting on the yellow bandana, yeah. if General Museveni gets on a plane and leaves the country tomorrow, all of them would put on red bandana. I'm no, I, I kid you not. <laughs> but <laughs> so long as so long as your livelihood, right? Yeah. So long as so long as your salary is dependent on General Museveni. Yes. You are going to wear some of them are going to wear a yellow bandana. Some of them are going to wear a yellow t-shirt. But between you and I, I'm sure beneath the yellow uh, t-shirt, there's a red t-shirt too. <laughs> they, given the opportunity, they will take off that yellow t-shirt very quickly. Because listen, ask yourself, who in her or his right mind would not want... So even the people who are now within the regime yeah. They know that Uganda can be a better country. True, true, true. They know that. But true. their hands are tied. Even the even the members of the security forces, yeah. the uh, police and the soldiers, those are not our enemies. They are not definitely. Who, you think think about it. Who enjoys waking up and putting on a uniform and then knowing at some point he may end up killing a fellow citizen? No one wakes up in the morning to just to put on the uniform and go kill others. They are influenced by, I think they are, they are influenced by their bosses or something like that. Can you still hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you, so, but you are skipping, yes. skipping somewhere. Yes. yes. No, so, so I'm saying even members of the security forces, they're not our enemies. So what we need to do is explain to them that there's a better alternative. You saw what happened in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Robert Mugabe is my personal hero. True. I tell you, he's a hero. Why? Why? Because, because he, he, he fought to remove apartheid, white minority regime, racism in what was Rhodesia. And Rhodesia became Zimbabwe, correct? Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah, I remember that history. The land was returned to the Africans. The land had been robbed during colonial rule. He returned the land to them. I think yeah. his biggest mistake was not creating a succession. So he ended up being in power for too long. Mm -hmm. But even then, Zimbabweans are a very forgiving people. They believe in national reconciliation. True. That is, that is why when the new president was sworn in on Friday, Emerson Nangagwa, mm. he said, Mugabe is my mentor. Let us let bygones be bygones. Let's create a new dispensation. I comprehend. As a result, Mugabe is today in Zimbabwe. True. But his mistake was that he stayed too long in power. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Uganda, we have an individual who's been in power for 31 years, right? That's why. <laughs> it's, uh, and now he wants to change the constitution again. Think about that. The difference between him and Mugabe is the similarity. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, but, but, but you know why I brought this up? Because I want to commend the action and the discipline of the armed forces of Zimbabwe. Yeah. There was no looting. True. People were not being shot in the streets. The transition was very orderly. And peaceful. And peaceful. And the people who perhaps a week or two earlier, some of them might have seen the armed forces as their enemy. True. As the enforcers of the regime. Mm. They came out to the streets. They were shaking their hands. They were hugging them collectively. I saw, I saw some people taking selfies on there. On the, what, those are what uh, tanks are, those, those tanks which are... Uh, which, Absolutely. Which, yeah. <laughs> because military, they know military, that military, military, military the tanks. I was, they were taking Absolutely, selfies. Because, <laughs> I was like, oh my yeah, God. Why, why? Why did they do that? Because they know that even the soldiers and the security forces had now freed themselves of a big burden. 
In Uganda today, the big burden is General Museveni. Mm. Even the soldiers and the members of the security forces would want to come and shake our hands. Mm. They would want to pose with us and rejoin the civilian population as mm. sisters and brothers. Mm. Mm. So that's why I say we must not. Mm. We must not see them as our enemies. Mm. We must see them as people who are being, number one, misguided by the regime. Mm. And then number two, being forced to do things mm. that they would not prefer to do. Because some of those people are their sisters, their brothers, their sons, their daughters, their fathers, and their relatives, right? Mm. Yeah. And that's how we have to think about it. We have to think that there are no enemies. There are no good guys. There are no bad guys. There are people who are being misled true, 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 by, true. by the dictatorship that General Museveni has created in Uganda. True, true. Uh, Mr. Mr. Milton, I'll, I'll, I'll request you uh, as you're talking to, to go through those comments which are going down because there are some questions which are going to you. Uh, they're trying to ask you some questions that are really very, very important. Uh, so they are trying okay. to put remarks or something like that. If you see something, which if you see a comment which is pro, which is uh, productive, you you can uh, you can actually try to comply on it or, so, or something like that. No, absolutely. I mean, I see um, I see Wilberforce morning saying always change is good. Of course, change not only change, but we need to have a system that is predictable, because if we if we have a solid constitution that has two term limits. Mm. Then if you, for example, are thinking that you want to be president one day, sure. you know that after, after 10 years, if that person gets two terms, right? After sure. 10 years, you're going, to have, you're going to have an opportunity, right? An opportunity, yeah, true. And that brings stability. It brings stability because you know you can wait for your chance. Mm. But when you have a person who says, I am the only person <laughs> who, <laughs> has, who has all the ideas, who has all the yeah, vision yeah. that creates instability but um because it means because it means people think that the only way i can become president too is by using a gun to get rid of general Museveni. Mm. and we don't want that we want to end that in uganda uganda's had too much violence mm. many african countries have had too much violence true the generation that came before us did not fight for independence to see Africans killing sisters and brothers. True. So we must end that. True. Um, and we can. We can. We can't do it. Uh, I think right now mm. we have. Uh, somebody said with Milton and Don on his red bandana. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> but next time when the young man invites invites me back on his show. Oh, uh, there's a. I think uh, I think on Mr. Mitoni's um, side, there's a there's a problem with network, uh, but uh, we, of course to, we, we are trying to fix it. Um, uh, uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you. I think uh, I think you have a problem with the network that side. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I hope yeah. it gets better. Can you can you can you can you hear me now? No, I can hear you. Okay, great. So, so as I'm saying, somebody posed a question saying, can we end the M7 regime? Of course we can. Everything comes to an end. At one time, nobody believed that uh, Hosni Mubarak in Egypt mm. would ever not, not be the president of Egypt, correct? Mm. Yeah, correct. At one time, even in Uganda, mm. nobody believed General Idi Amin would one day not be president of Uganda. Mm. That is way, way uh, uh, before your generation. True. At one time, nobody believed that the dictator of what was then Zaire, yeah. uh, Mobutu Seseko. Mobutu Seseko. Exactly. Actually, that, that would end, right? Actually, actually listen to me, I saw um, his mansion. He had one of the most beautiful mansions in Africa. Now it's like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's dismantled. Uh, the way it's looking, it's, it's like it was not. It was not the best. It's now animals are grazing from there. I was like, oh my god, all that money is wasted. Not only that, he stole 
the reportedly five billion dollars that he didn't even use that money he stole to build uh, the Congo. He put it in a Swiss bank account, and that's the problem with many of our leaders. You know, when they steal the money, uh, you know, stealing is not good. But if you're going to steal, why not build it within your own country?、Mm. Why do you steal our money and send it to European banks? That doesn't make sense,、mm. <laughs> right? Mm. Mm. So I gave all these examples, right? I gave all these examples to show you that things that look like they will never go away, eventually, when people bring their collective resistance together,、mm. they can remove any 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 bad system in the world. Yeah. Look at apartheid South Africa. At one point, nobody believed apartheid South Africa that the、we'll、apartheid regime would end.、Mm, mm, mm. Where is South Africa today? South Africa today has majority rule. I mean,、yeah. they still have big problems. They have not yet resolved the land issue, but at、yeah. least formal apartheid has been removed. Now they can work towards the wealth redistribution. Yeah, but with that, but as so long as apartheid existed, they could not have addressed that issue.、Mm. So if apartheid can end in South Africa, if apartheid can end in Rhodesia, yeah, if European if European colonialism, yeah, could end in Africa,、mm. uh, uh, beginning with Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana.、Mm. The Yoweri Museveni dictatorship can end in Uganda. True, 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 we're, true. We're just waiting for that time. <laughs> we should draw from the lessons of history.、Mm. So Ugandans should not despair.、Mm. We should be very hopeful.、Mm. We should not be discouraged.、Mm. But one thing, we should maintain the unity that you now see with. People wearing the red bandana all over the country, not only in one part of the country. I understand. I even, understand. even in the part of the country where General Museveni reportedly comes from, yeah, people are wearing red bandana. That's really a great means, sign. Right. It means Ugandans、yeah. collectively, collectively want to create a better dispensation、mm. for all Ugandans. So we can all live together like sisters and brothers in harmony, True. and start to develop our country.、Mm. Look, the rest of the world are, are are progressing and leaving us behind. Of course, they are leaving us. Look, look, look、uh, take a, take a, take an example of our of our neighbor Kenya. The way they are the way they are growing at a very high rate. They are developing at a very high rate. Their tourism、Absolutely. sector, their tourism sector is working out. Be, Is working out well, but look at our tourism sector in Uganda. We have one. We have. We have.、Um, Uganda has the best wildlife, I think. I, I think in Africa, but our our tourism sector is not even、um, uh, uh, advertised、uh, globally. So all the all that I think it's、uh, it's about the governance or something like that. Exactly, and even if it's advertised globally, the resources will not be spread evenly across the country. <laughs> That is the problem.、Mm. When all the benefits go to the presidential family and his relatives and his close associates who help to maintain him in power, that's wrong.、Mm. Uganda has the lowest per capita income in East Africa. Even、uh, even we Kenya be- is ahead of us. Even we are be- even we Tanzania be- is ahead of us. We are behind Tanzania. Absolutely, Tanzania is ahead of us. Anybody can check that. Jesus Christ. This is unconscionable. This is unacceptable.、Mm. In fact, we should not be talking just about the tourism industry.、Oh, we、right. want to be talking about industrialization. Industrialization, yeah. Of course, because it is through industries that you create wealth and prosperity for your people.、Mm. I recommend one book by Kingsley Mogalo. It's called Emerging Africa. Mm. Anybody can look it up on Amazon and please order that book.、Mm. That book shows you the strategies to creating wealth and prosperity in Africa. Yeah, and it makes the convincing argument that the only countries in the world that have created sustained wealth and prosperity for their citizens have done so by industrialization.、Mm. 
we cannot continue exporting raw materials to the rest of the world. Yeah, because... Coffee, cotton, mm. tobacco, mm. gold, diamond, copper, mm. you name it. These mm. are all primary resources. Yeah. We need them in our once, country. Not only that, we need to create value added. We need to manufacture. Why do we need to import mm. manufactured uh, items from the rest of the world mm. when they use raw material from Africa <laughs> to manufacture those resources? Think about that. Yeah, I think, I think, I think if, uh, if, uh, if we keep our resources and uh, we use them in our industries, uh, um, our, also, also our currency can gain value, something like that. No, not only that, we will create wealth and prosperity yeah. for Africa. Mm. You know, look, in the 1960s, right? China, but you see China today is a superpower, right? China, in fact, the per capita income in Ghana in 1959, 1960 was higher than China. <laughs> really? Really? Yes, of course. <laughs> But look at, look at China today. I'm look very at China surprised today. about China. that. <laughs> oh, yes. China is an industrial power today. Uh, China is using Africa's resources to industrialize. I understand. Yeah, that's what, China they're, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah. So we, I'm, I'm bringing this all up to say that once we have the right environment in Africa, in Uganda, we can do the same thing. Mm but we have to create the right environment first. True. And that starts by removing the kind of uh, government mm. where all the resources, mm. all the benefits, mm. all the important positions mm. in the government, mm. in the military, mm. and the civil service mm. goes based on the preference of one individual. Yeah. That is general misogyny. That is unacceptable. Mm, yeah, I understand. Um, Mr. Milton... Yeah. And, 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 and this is the challenge, mm, young man. Mm. If any Ugandan, regardless of your age, True. male, female, regardless of your age, if you think that Uganda can be a better country, mm. then you should, you should commit yourself mm. to removing dictatorship in Uganda. It's very mm. simple. Mm, mm. If, if you don't believe... Mm. <laughs> that Uganda can be a better country. And I find that hard to believe. True. Even the people who are helping to maintain General Museveni in power, deep in their heart, they know that Uganda can be a better country. True, 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 true. So let's give Uganda a chance to be a better country by creating a better system, having mm. a constitution that is solid, that mm. everybody respects, that has presidential term limits mm. so that we don't contest on leadership by using the gun. Mm. We contest for leadership by using ideas. Ideas. And by, and by building coalitions. Mm, mm, mm. Let me make one final observation, perhaps, mm. before, I, I, uh, before we, dip, we part. Mm. Look at the case of Uganda's foreign minister today. Sam Kutesa. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to put, to, to, to give a, a climax about it. Yes. H how embarrassing is that? And yet this is something that could have been prevented. Mm. When Sam Kutesa was about to come to the United Nations General Assembly in 2014, we wrote many articles about the alleged corruption uh, schemes that he was involved with in Uganda. Mm. The fact that he wrongfully acquired the assets of Uganda Airlines and caused Uganda Airlines to collapse. And then he inherited the business for the baggage handling services and created a company called Entebbe Handling Services, number one. Then what did he do? He got a contract with the United Nations and through that contract, he was able to make $30 million. Three zero, not three, $30 million. $30 million. $30 million. That's a lot but, of money. The, yes, but, we, but, but, but how did he get that contract? He got that contract because he did not tell the United Nations that he was the owner of the company. 
Because it would be like the U.S. Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, right? Mm. Having a private company and then his private company having a U.N. contract. Do you think that would be acceptable? No. He might end up in jail, even here in the United States, right? Oh. So we, so we brought that issue up about Kutesa. We wrote many articles about it. We started mm. a petition campaign, mm. and 15,752 people signed it mm. on change.org, saying this individual is not suitable to be president of the UN General Assembly. But Uganda did not withdraw his candidacy. In fact, mm. he continued, mm. and he became... He became president of the General Assembly, right? Yeah, yeah. But now, in retrospect, it turns out that the, the FBI started investigating him at that time because they had been looking at some of the information that we were bringing out. Mm. And now, at the end of the investigation, they unsealed an indictment last week on Monday. And in that indictment, the United States... Justice Department alleges that an individual called Patrick Ho, a Chinese individual who was a former Home Secretary of Hong Kong, was a front company for a Chinese company called CEFC, and that his mission was to bribe African officials in order to gain uh, advantage without competition in mineral resources in these African countries. And allegedly, that individual, Patrick Ho, offered a bribe of $2 million to President of Chad, Idris Deby, using as a go-between the former foreign minister of Senegal, called Mr. Gadio, Cheke mm. Gadio. Mm. And in the case of Uganda, that individual, Patrick Ho, allegedly paid Sam Kutesa $500,000. Jesus Christ. And that money was wired to an account in Uganda on May 6, 2015. After, uh, I'm sorry, 2016, after Mr. Kutesa's term had already expired and he had returned to Uganda. Mm. Allegedly, in 2015, before his term expired, Mr. Kutesa had gone to Hong Kong. And over there, that is when he solicited the bribe. He asked for $500,000 to support the re-election campaign of General Museveni. And he asked for $500,000 for his foundation. And now the U.S. is saying that foundation did not exist. The U.S. sent an FBI agent to Uganda. And that FBI agent allegedly found out that there was no such foundation. Mm. And one of, in the, one of the email messages in which... Uh, uh, Mrs. Kutesa, Edith Kutesa, uh, sent the instruction with the bank account where the money should be sent. In that email, she also said that they needed the money because they wanted to create jobs for young people in Uganda. Mm. So now, they were even using the names of young people in Uganda for that money. And as you know, uh, youth unemployment in Uganda is 85%. Mm. I'm willing to bet that none of that money was used to create jobs for young Ugandans. Mm. So now, Patrick Ho has been arrested. The former uh, foreign minister of Senegal, uh, uh, Mr. Gadio, has been arrested. Oh. And they are now facing charges. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Kutesa, presumably, he's in Uganda. And uh, they are, are they trying to protect him not to be arrested? Or he will be arrested also? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What I know is that when I asked the State Department mm. about his visa eligibility, mm. I asked, is he still eligible to return to the U.S. and travel freely? Mm. Declined to answer that question. They did not say yes. They said, talk to mm. the Justice and Then when I called uh, the Justice Department, they said, no, it is the State Department and the Homeland Security Department that mm. will determine his uh, visa status. Yeah. And then when I call Homeland Security, they did not respond to my uh, questions. So mm. I don't know. Mm. Perhaps Mr. Kutesa himself knows. Mm. But this is not good. This is not good for the country. It's not, not good for the country's image. Not good we at all. We can do much better, I'm sure. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are many much more qualified Ugandans who would do a better job as being foreign minister mm -hmm. of Uganda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday, yesterday, we got a statement from the United Nations mm -hmm. because uh, the foreign ministry in Uganda had put out a statement earlier this week saying, Mr. Kutesa, basically, if you summarize the statement, it was statement was going left, right, and everywhere, but it wasn't saying anything. But it mm. said one Kutesa was fulfilling his duty mm. as president of the General Assembly. Mm. But the UN says, basically, is distancing itself mm. from that statement from the Ugandan Foreign Ministry. Mm. The current president of the UN General Assembly, the new president, said that he has not been contacted about any such investigation and that in his case he's very transparent he's going to disclose his financial holdings and he's going to make it available on 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 on, on, on online on on the website mm. and then the spokesperson for u.n secretary general antonio guterres mm. also said uganda the ugandan government needs to respond to this issue number one mm. And number two, they said Kutesa was not an employee of the United Nations. Mm. And then number three, they said they expect all presidents of the General Assembly of the UN to conduct themselves ethically and transparently. Mm. Mm. And obviously that means they believe that is not how Sam Kutesa conducted himself. Mm. Oh. Um, I, I see somebody saying, <laughs> a comment saying, Milton, mind your business. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that could mean. No. The business of Uganda, <laughs> mm -hmm. the business of Uganda should be, should be, the, <laughs> should be the business of all of us. All of us, true. All true. of us who care it's not, it's about not Uganda. One, it's not one whose business. <laughs> yeah? it's, exactly. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's, it's like it's trying to say that, um, uh, <laughs> which business is he talking yeah. about? <laughs> No. Uh, and that's and that's part of the problem. These are things that's which pay, the these are things which pains everyone. So we are all citizens. Absolutely. Yeah. That's part of the problem. Mm. The part of the problem is that the dictatorship mm. has been running Uganda like a private business for such a long time mm. that many people are are misled and they mm. actually think that Uganda belongs to one family. That is not correct. Mm. Uh, uh, the president. There is uh, Elizabeth Elizabeth Ruzinda is saying, I, say, I, will, I will not tell Professor to become a president, but to be an advisor. It's my first time to hear his words, but I'm enjoying each and every single word he airs out. People are thank uh, you. People they are appreciating. Uh, guys, can you try to share the live stream? Share the live stream. Invite your friends uh, because uh, this is really important. Uh, what we are discussing is really important to our soul. So you guys try to share yeah. and invite. Uh, more people to join the forum. You can go on, Professor. Yeah, I think I, the, the, the General Museveni was wrong when he said he is not anybody's servant. I, I, you, I had that. <laughs> when, you, when you take the role of becoming president, mm. Mm. it means your duty is to serve the citizens of your country, mm. regardless of which country. You can't say that in the United States, the president should serve the citizens of the United States. Mm, mm, you can't mm. say in, 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 in Great Britain, the prime minister should serve the citizens of Britain, right? Mm, mm, mm. But, 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 but in Uganda, the president of Uganda must mm. not serve the president of Uganda. That doesn't make sense. Mm, mm. Because presumably, you are put in office by people who elect you Mm. to perform services on their behalf. Mm. So I, I, I would like to correct General Museveni. He was, he was wrong when he said he's not the servant of Ugandans. In fact, he is. Because it's, not I, the upper, it, it, it's not the other way around. The citizens are not the servants of the president. Because, the they, because the president has to serve his citizens. That makes him being Absolutely. a servant. Yeah. Absolutely. Anywhere mm. in the world. There's no the exception. World. So there's no exception for Uganda. Anywhere in the world, mm. if you're president, mm. if you're prime minister, your number one duty 
is for the welfare mm. of your citizens. Mm. So I think uh, we've covered a, a lot of ground today. We probably want to leave some more stuff to discuss on our next show. But if yeah. you had uh, any actually, specific questions. Actually, Mr. Milton, uh, uh, this thing is like, Mr. Milton, continue coming to give us updates. Actually, I'm, I'll be also pleased to have you um, more, 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 more times on our, on our forum uh, to invite you to give light to people because there are people, some of our friends, they don't know. They would love to know. They would like, there are many, many things they like. They would like to know. And it means I know you know sure. a lot. So I, I would like always to, uh, to as in a, maybe uh, in a week on the weekend or something like that, Absolutely. invite to invite you here. You give you yes. give you give the wisdom you have to share the wisdom you have yeah. to our citizens of Uganda out there yes absolutely yes, i'll be very happy can i can i say one other thing before i leave yeah ugandans can make a difference collectively even ugandans that are outside the country mm. right there in sweden for example mm. and any other country where you find yourself as a ugandan mm. you must petition the government of the country where you are residing mm. when you get information about this corruption scandal that Minister Kutesa in, is involved in, mm. make sure the, news, the newspapers in the country where you are write about it as well. Mm. Make, sure that the, make sure that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the leadership in the country where you are uh, become aware of it. Mm. And then ask them, why do you continue supporting a country like this, which is abusing resources? Mm, mm, so we have mm. to we have to stand up individually as Ugandans, mm, challenge mm. the countries, mm. challenge the countries that support corruption, mm. because corruption is a is a two way street. Yeah, is that not correct? You're correct. The person the person who is receiving mm. the resources wrongfully mm. should be challenged, but the person mm. who continues giving the resources wrongfully must also be challenged. So we here in the United States, Ugandans mm. in diaspora, mm. we're engaging with the American government and we're saying this is wrong. Mm. So I recommend and suggest that Ugandans, whichever country you are in, mm. please make the same demands on the governments of the country where you reside today. If we continue doing that mm. collectively, we will succeed in creating a better Uganda. True. Are uh, there someone so here? Once again, there's someone here who wanted you to, to give some remarks on uh, tribalism, uh, tribalism in Uganda right about now because uh, he wanted you to talk about tribalism. Because Yeah, I, first of all, I, I, I don't call it tribalism because when Europeans say tribalism, it has a very different meaning. It talks about so-called primi prim primitive people. And that's not mm. what we mean, right? I know what we mean. Mm. We mean mm. ethnic, ethnocentricity. That's what I call it. Mm. ethnic differences mm. and why does that exist mm. that exists because a dictator thinks that's the only way that he continue holding on to power mm. i personally don't care what part of the country you come from mm. Mm. and mm. i hope the young generation of ugandans sisters and brothers mm. should feel the same way yeah because don't we let are one anybody deceive you. don't yeah. let anybody deceive you into saying somebody's from the east, mm. from the west, mm. from central, mm. from the north, from, from the south. No, don't mm. think like that. Mm. Don't let anybody deceive you. It's we are true. all Uganda collectively, and we will improve Uganda collectively as one people. And yeah. after we improve Uganda, we can also move towards having a better continent, mm. not only our country, mm. but the entire African continent. True. Um, so on that note, I would like to say thank you so much for having me on your show. <laughs> yeah. And I send my greetings to Ugandan sisters and brothers, yeah. whatever they are. Yeah. I look forward to being on your show once again. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Milton, uh, actually, I would, like, uh, I would like you to be uh, on my show always on Saturday and you give us sure. 30 <laughs> minutes, just 30 minutes, like how you've sure. given us 30 minutes. To be just 30 sure. minutes, it will be nice every Saturday, if sure. you don't mind. Okay, sure. So I'll see you next Saturday then. Okay, I, I, I was really happy to have you on my show, um, Mr. Milton uh, Arimadi. I'm looking Thank forward you. to host you again. Thank you so much. Okay. Stay well. Okay, stay well. Have a nice, have a nice time. Take care. Thank you. Greetings to everyone in the United States. <laughs>
Um, that was Mr. Milton Arimadi from the United States of America. He's a Ugandan based there. Uh, he knows a lot of politics. So I'll be hosting him um, on Saturday, next Saturday. We'll be discussing many, many more things. So now, uh, if you're on live stream now and you want to discuss about the current political situation of Uganda, where is uh, I would like to I would like you to to send me an invitation to say, to, to as in uh, uh, to uh, I would like to invite you here if you wanna discuss. Abaga no discuss in Uganda, but Oruzungu to put leyo. Eh, Mr. Miritoni, Oruzungu to put them Oruzungu, Mr. Miritoni, to jabber and Oruzungu, we na banga jogera na inaaga no discuss in Gakati. Sindi kawa no invite ze kuinvite inge ojote se muganda wange. Agano kuinvite inga, agano kutesa. Sindi kawa no guni kuinvite inge tutese. Uh, gundi aliwa. <laughs> gundi aliwa. Um, <laughs> Musanja wange emu piru waga. Njara emu piru waga. Wano wabewa ataginga emu piru waga. Wabewa ataginga emu, pi, emu piru waga south. Wabe wata ginga emu piru waga south wano. Mweta agawa nuku live stream. Emu piru waga south wano. Uwa wabaku waliku no commenting. Andakura venga wajoi nize. Uh, tuja kumera ngo muamio tumera na. Itama iru ganda muamio ya mairu zungu. Kani tuja kumera nga tumera na ye wano. Yeah. Tuja kumera nga tumu, tumu hosting. Abuli sata. Dakiriza. Kati mbabuli la. <laughs> mbabuli ya ngena kubane shue singo kubane. Kwa hivi nituwe hivi nituwe hivi zimba. Ku Facebook. Me, myself, Governor S. Yeah. Oyoke muli na kati. Tuge na kubanga tuchukuba. Kati chukuba internationally. Dizi tiga gamba. Governor kati ya chintu. Chitege la wabantu vitu wagana. Ye ngena kuba lete nanga Mr. Milton na alimadi. Wabula mshu ya lingena mwe. Abanda ine vitu ya oge debi ama kuru viji nyo 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 nyo. Waro banda mwaweta goku viuli ya kati. Gubu vuhu vade toliko. Ngo join is a good join is. Who will come to Anamo? Gizako sharing, a Gizako sharing, a Menamu sharing, a video can I never come over the other day. I'm one new, 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 uh, um, Savannah, Savannah ma, ma, Madomombe She's saying continue speaking English If you can I will try to mix English and Uganda If you don't mind Let me try to invite Someone here Who wants to be part of the Salam Savannah, I'm trying to invite you. Hello, Savannah. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. Um, so, I'm actually from Zimbabwe, and um. Are you, really you from Zim you from Zim you from Zimbabwe? I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, and where do you live? So where do you live? In in New York. I I know Milton here from New York. Ah, uh, you you know Milton from I New York. Know. Yeah. So your story here's the here's the thing. Your story is what we have been going through here in Zimbabwe. If you have been paying attention to what has been going on in Zimbabwe, yeah. this is exactly what where we were just two weeks ago. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you know the story of Zimbabwe. I so know the song of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I, I, I have been following. You've been following. So yeah. you understand that there's nothing that does not end. If mm. Mugabe, after seven years, can finally be gone, mm. that can also happen in Uganda. But mm. the lessons that we learned in Zimbabwe is that mm. everybody has to rise up and speak. You can't mm. be afraid. Mm. You can use media you can do whatever you you need to do mm. we are not in zimbabwe new york but we didn't stop and say we are not going to participate because not we are not in in on the ground as yeah as yeah and we I did understand. What we can do mm. outside mm. so all the ugandans whether they are in in uganda or outside of uganda if they want to see change they have to participate in what whichever way they can uh, whichever way yeah whichever way 
Yeah, they cannot stop and say, you know what, I'm not in Uganda right now, so yeah. there's nothing I can do. There's a lot that we can do mm. from being, outside. And being, actually, and, being out... Actually, being out of the country it doesn't take uh, the fact that it doesn't, it doesn't take away the fact that you are, you are a citizen of Uganda or a citizen of Zimbabwe. You, know, you still remain a citizen of Uganda or Zimbabwe, something like that. Of course. Yeah. This is where we were fighting with our government, saying you cannot deny us our rights just because we are outside. We are not outside because we want to be outside. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe, economy is crumbled. So mm. everybody had to leave and try and find somewhere where they can live and try to to take care of their family, right? Mm. So it doesn't take away my rights. Mm. I still a citizen and I still have to participate. Mm. So that's what we all have to fight. And and this whole thing where when I, the reason why I'm jumping in here is because we we as Africans have to stop this tendency of fighting individual battles. Individual battles. Mm. Yeah. Everybody should jump in and help, not say, well, we don't know, it's, it's a Zimbabwean issue. Mm. It's not a Zimbabwean issue. As long as Zimbabwe is in, pro, in, in troubles and it's not okay and Uganda is not okay, mm. the rest of Africa is not going to be okay. True, 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 true. We have to fight this battle together mm. so that we can all be one and 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 united yeah That's yeah the yeah. only way we can make africa better mm. uh sister i heard that uh um uh the former president of zimbabwe um uh, mr mugabe seeked asylum in south africa is it true no that's not true he's in zimbabwe he's being respected the army does not intend to harm him as they said from the beginning he's in zimbabwe Mm. He's uh, very safe. He's 93. Who wants to harm a 93-year-old? Who wants to chase away a 93-year-old from his home? That's not what we wanted. We, want, we wanted him to take a rest so we can continue building our nation. That's Nobody so touching. Wants to... yeah, it's so very, very touching. We, we understand. We and understand. emotional. So yeah. we, we are not here to fight. Uh, we we want to show them that we are better people than they were. They did mm. not treat us right, but we don't do the same thing. We want justice in Zimbabwe for mm. all and everybody, every mm. individual, mm. including him, Mugabe. He should be accorded. If, they, if we want him to go through justice, then he has to go through the justice system, mm. not for us to exert on him. Mm. This is why we didn't want coup or the non-coup that went into Zimbabwe to be bloodless. It mm. had to be very peaceful. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We are peaceful. And that's I, all we wanted. I get what you're saying. Anyway, just wanted to share with you, my brothers and sisters, mm. don't give, keep fighting <laughs> and do what you need to do in Uganda and get it going. Yeah. Right. Uh, I was, uh, it was nice having you on my, on my forum. Thanks for contributing, my sister from Zimbabwe, Savannah. Take care. Hey, no problem. Take Greetings care. to everyone in New York. All right. All bye right. bye. Bye bye. Um, I do worry about contributing. That that was my sister Savannah from uh, Zimbabwe. She's living in New York. Mwe tu genda kuchi kuwa tu genda kuchi kuwa wano kumukuto bwa governor is. So there are sensei ka 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 teli karaoke sensei ka ka. Hey, Zimbabwe li de tu genda kuchi kuwa wano. Wama agano kumuiva iti inga yogera aliwa. Zimbabwe tukenda kuchukuba. Batu ndoza mbara babali na waka. Bajia baogera, baogera sense. Um. Njara kumuiva iti, iti inga wanuramu aliwa. Ramona agara nyo politiksi. Ramu uliwa, ramu uliwa, ramu komentinga. Ramu uliwa, ramu uliwa, ramu uliwa. Aluwa, aha, matofa mato abudu. Matofa abudu, agara kutesa. Hamuwa kakisa, agara dida. Anaba, agara joini inga. Dachika, 
Muli omu agenda kufanga anga yugera dachika anga satu satu Bentu wena wala kakisana voku kutesa Wana matufu gambo uja Te walikati kuli mbukele Obula mbulonji Kuli mkutesa ku current political situation ya Uganda Wali maki wali maki for like three minutes then I invite another person Yeah Nga kati gwalie Uganda uchogera kochi Uganda political situation je tulimu kati Haa kakati nga nga Mr. Milton wa yogede kowe Nga Mr. Milton wa yogede koku nso nga Jombu ziza kwe ya tribalism we Walikiri ya we Nkuli ya Muganda wano Governor Yesi Walikiri ya Kakati ya mbade nkugamba Nga Milton ya vudeko Tugambi ya kukutribalism we Wano kutribalism e Uganda ya cha sinzo kubanga We sanga Nga o Muganda Nga tayagala mnyankole kubela mufuzi Mwachi Nchuo Muganda Ogena kwe Aye ya gali Zokusinga Aye ya gali zokusinga Okusinga achi Omunyankole alimu gundi ya na tenga tula we dembe E dembe liwa denyo Murijimu E neba deo Nenga echukulu chayo ne chiso inga kwezi ngila mwebiwe E kubela Ebela fe Abantu nga fe Abana Uganda tuetaga Tuetaga chi Tuetaga change Obo nte geda e E kakati nga wano valo nzo Oluru wa FDC Wa president wa HV na cha FDC wano mu Uganda E Uwe sanganga wano bajeko Bajeko ya daru deonga tumanyo mtu mungu gisha mtu Kwa chitegele Tumanyi onageno kuda wa agena kola atia Agena kutukumisa Sana efe nga fetuwe taga change Obo ntegele Echukulu chabyo nafa wana yugana tuwe taga Enchuka chuka mbio bufuzi Winding up munganda wangu Kwa likidi ya ye Winding up, winding up. Esi. Winding up, nakuwa deda chika sato. Walikiri ya mpulika. Esi. E, katiemba degelo kuka amba. Muganda wanginetu waka ye mbio yo. Ah, na. Governor. Hey, Milton yomulavye, mulese. <laughs> hey, yomulese, choko zema kula. Uwaengo ya kwa, bulijuwa mkula vila mbigundi. Mochi. Bulijuwa li musajia, musajia mugongo fuboto sebo. Hey, bu, tipo embeira sebo. Buwabera mumirimu, buwabera mumirimu. <laughs> buwabera mumirimu, buwabera mulala. Buwabera <laughs> mulala. Umulavye yeah. mbidi, umulavye mbidi toni. Ya, yeah, nsonga za yogede nkulu nyo. Ate no, ngeenda kumera ngana yu uli sata de. Ya, chironji nyo. Ate no yu, mm. no yu mchalo mzimbaba zina ayogera. Yogede nsonga nkuru nyo. Mm. Bana Uganda tuino kwa atile wa mu. Mm. Echi ndu chino tuleke chile kera governor yeka. Mm. Oba Miltoni. Mm. Fena fena tuino kuwa. Budi omu afine tafali liyasa ku Uganda. Chitofu nyo. Betu na do chile kera abandu. Just to chile kera omu ntu omu. Mm. Mm. Tetugenda tetu kufuna mm. Tugenda kubera mm. katubo na abona Abantu mm. wafi babone ebone Mwabali mm. yebweru muliko burunji kone Abantu wafi balibu vi nyo 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 ba, nyo nga jengu kaza Abantu babona abona Ia mm. Tuna kukosi sa mkisa guno mm. Musevene Esawa zino Atani sekuluwa na gani Rwanda mm. Esawa zino hey, Ata aluwa na gani Rwanda Aluwa na gani Rwanda atia Kutesa kwa toso mama ulide Alu bantu bawera yitu mungana walu wata chimanya agaru mkumanya. Yeah, government ya alu anda igamba mseveni akore nkwe na abajie kira. Hey, atenga wadiba mikuano. Iranga wadiba mikuano. Bwe bite vintu biyo kukule mbeze bwe bite vivera. Biyo kufunya kula, biyo kuba. Waliriza, kakati tola wadu wabasajabari di pepa wivasi vye. Ntoloku waba ayogede. Bayo get dentil wanda, museveni nilu wanda, tewali mumbera nunji.
Seven in a Kagame, yes. At every day, I begin to be very beautiful. You can never be very in psychology. Again, yeah, you have to get up your navy tooth. All it is, yeah, a chirala. Kogama, when I go on to no quatro, I'm to no quiet quatro, I'm Sigaman teaching to Muchirekere, um, to Chirekere, uh, Governor, a car, what to Chirekere. And you know, Uganda, you have faith now. Oh, man, against an Ayugera, Cochin, to chat tribalism, or Matovu. You know, what a touching on your devil wound. Maybe you're not your lab, I say, I'm seven, by not to forget I'm with you. By now, Okutua, Ula, Okutufu, Gabaina, Kutua, Ula, by now, Salama, Gaze, Kulabanga, Tukwa, Tagananga, to be our moon, to be our way, I will enter your monancore, or your Muganda, or your Mucho, a system of seven year ecology. Ya jikola sebo. Mm. Abantu wa febabire muwebio. Mchifu mm. abali, 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 abali chude wa ansi. Netulo wale zensi ya fe. Tuvira mm. muwebio vya tribalism. Mm. What it is here. Uh, it's okay. Kerele ansanyu kide nyogu ndi ani. FDC. Mm. Okufuno oku mkule mbizo mula lokuwa kumo party ndala. Abantu wa mm. njiba diba complaining. Nga ba ganti chintu. Elaba antu bava saidi ya mbe wakola chi. Biba chiri mkati na saidi ndala kichi kole chi. Mm. Yes. Kitchquatem, yes. 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 The time we give them what they mala, Chaco's a chill, like a Uganda, watch him and Tibagara Kutan TV. Yeah, Cadnanti Chitegeza, Chitegeza Bianfuna. Tabadu Oku Yamba Bantu. Just Tibadu Oku Funambu Funi. What it is. Yeah, Gurachi of Fuzzi or Sobodok Fuga Miaka in a way town on Okusova. Luachi Tokolachi, Luachi to Abantavala la chance. Katoro singo fukia da president wa Gwanga. Ah, yeye chacho kachira ganti singo fuka president wa Gwanga. Ero gena kutu kolevi. Ii atemi tu kuhoye. Yes. Kaka tu oruganda kwenye kule kwenye mukta ambula. Hmm. Ofunua mto mna la goi tatese. Nenga kwenye. Kali sema. Hey. Voice oyom oyomwa mi ali ali America o. Ami ali America o. Um, Alwa agaro mu inviting, Alwa agaro mu inviting. Wani ko mukono agaro mu inviting. Uh, emu piru baga, emu piru baga vam vam chizikiza. Yo. <laughs> Ogambo ya sivu. Ndewe lundi. Um, sivu mchawa tuliriza. Amanyanze mpiru waga south. Samo jo yiga mbaka wabatu. Mm. Mbaka wa diaspora. Mm. Poor people's governor. Voice to the voice lesi. The voice. Uh, the speaker of the voice lesi. Yeah. The voiceless Uganda. Nenda kende za kudogo zili ange wana. Sorry. Um, Webali nyo muami yogole se. Uh, mbade muuli liza. Mm. Nema vega wali. Mm, mm. Um, they are very knowledgeable. I try to listen to great people. Mm. It is a great one. Mm. Mm. Msaja wa mani nyo 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 nyo. Sajja wa mani nyari alinga alinga gwe na yali inform this bo vera ngo yaga kufuko wa kabi oyino kuliriza ba kabi stuff nyo muganda so, I, mm. I listen to him a lot mm mm um kagamba zengenda kogera ko mudachi kantono nyo mm kubanga uh, ni na special guest bringing the creator ku live yange but we need to support each other, you know. Mm. I can't see governance online and I don't support. Mm. 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 Mm.
Mm. Era can sharing a straight mm. on my page I have shared. Mm. Era nsaba bali kuna mushira binge ubaka bwe butoke ku bantu abenja. Mm. Kuba mona ka live kajude sense. Mm. Da mi kwano jange banji nyo bano bajanga era bulijjo ababa gabo bajja. Mm. Kambere brief. Mera brief mganda ngo yogere tu. Luwa leo gerano kutuka ko. Chana kunyo nyo nyo nji Uganda. Um, Bichini wini kula msiza. Chana kunyo nji Uganda. Um, Evi ntwe vigena maso. Uluwa leo vigena maso. Mm. Nga te tuina potential nene. Mm. Um, tuina chizibu chimu. E Uganda. Ile chizibu echo. I raised it very many times. The matter you are not tribalistic. Nay, in Jagaro Bate Gizzi Saw, in on tea. Oh, I'm saving the never never Garobati by Gala. Uba Kid. Oh, the Bugan Wutu say, our Vubuka to get taking over that country. Oh, Baba Garobati by Gala. Then nature dictates. Emia kajiba ubi da katambala. Wana bebo na beba jaba wana na wabagenda bafomu kuomu. Mm. Baze imo kilizenti emia kajiba ubi da katambala. Mugende muhie kubi msoboro kuli ya kuunga mcha asobola. Mm. Nebi nebe muli mono follow photo gwe muli mono. Okwe buza buza. Mm. Na mule tabi no. Tactics ze muli inaza milembe jamu china ana. Mkirize mwurekere mu, mwana Robert Chagula nyi senta mu Zonywa Mwana wa mwana wa wangu vida Mweoze sente kuruwa Uganda ne mzigula mwe vintu vya mwe Ewe vyo la vya kutese ewe vyo la vya mituwa la atano Obo sene temuli Uganda yifuna milioni vina muata no monana Oguva mu Amerika yoka every single year Oba zira gawa Bazi guze mama yumba monsiyo na Tezili kaka untability Ene tu basasi de basajia mwe Kuvanga bizi mbibi tuja kuvijia yo eh? mm. Tuja kuvijia wala Awana mtuja ba kuve imigo Neba zukuruba mtu basive Zimbabwe uli na Emu piba nagi No, Zimbabwe uli na mazima Mwe mwono wazi zanti mwuri wa gezi nyo Nena mwe mwasa mwasa nga wabari wa gezi Nye wa guru wa mwgezi wabira wa mwgezi basa jamwe Mwono nyaze guanga tewali ya accountability Mwe tunase wa accountability nge zene chivoko Mwja kuche jutu kawa nae basa jamwe mbabuli da Habana <laughs> wanyivu Tuli wakambwe Mpuli ya sewe Tuli ya basa baka untability ya miaka Satu mweta hana Nga teli watu wakwe migo Na yu muna avela watu ya kubachi Mayu kubanga katizi ya na mawanga They will hand you over Wuhuwa doli yenguzi Muguze bizinga bione mseshiri za ilandia Wasaja wakula jizinga bachi tuwalanda Yee, baganda bange Tulabu ulida mazimu Mwiso uga tuli wano we are ranting Bichi bichi ataba wala labalo uza Antifetu saga Oloko wabu balibulu unji Baganda bange Mbabu ulida Iranze bigambo byange governess mm. sibi nji nyo emba gamba mm. bwemba muri bagezi mm. mwe yambe muri kire robati chagula nyi ntebe atemule memuta taganya ku shows kuwango budde wa mwebuwe deko ne una kwata robati chagula nyi mpinja kujja mm. nyi kupwa president mm. ne una kwata mp governess ajja kujja mm. mm. ne una kwata governess omulala ajja kujja oba mwagalo bate mukola chi te mwagalo So, nze e, mlamu wangu wange kumukutu go emu orwalero gavanesi Saga la bavubuka wa Uganda babalu uoze sendi sebo wa babasajia Na boba hali inga fe Stufu E, la kambaburi le chisemba yon tino 
Temulooza bimula baka tibi vigendo kuwela wo encha Baba limba kubonate wali bubo katonda So anu kere janga wonabe pika bafunde Kupanga wali mukomera Nena mm. kwa Nena kwa Nena kwa Nena na ama je Ama je we out number ama je Fenga wa citizens we are 40 million Ugandan mm. Weta aga milioni bili wezi tizo kazi ingile mungu dola bo baba na jaye mundu za wezo kubo mungu Chitege, chitege la mungana wano So, orenzo ngeyo Njaga la mbulida batu uliliza bavubu kanzi kwanza abakade, abakade na ngiba we chitivu mm. Na ye, mchitivu echo chemba wa mm. Saba mkolechi, saba mkilize ntino njaga la mtu, mtu yambi Tugeze kukula ngantini Nso vize muko zete tuzo ngera yate mm -hmm. Olaba wano nagera na imbulida mondo mugisha viyakola Mochi Nagera mo, mondo mugisha viyakola muwembuli Ngeri jiba tamawa Wano hata nuko kundi satisa mm -hmm. Waa Soja kuda Uganda Waa Walimu bimu Ine miaka jianga mba munga na ine miaka less than 10 years mm -hmm. Gawa bubu ma Bote wama nyiku kola uh, argument zili sensible mm. Wepala bango ukole vintu ya vite gera mm. Otani soko kubo gira kevi singa mani mm. Nga baku jwete kakechi Nitu mbo terrorism Sima nya treason mm. Sima nya bichi mm. Na eno njaga na mbala bole Nitu ya nsige mwensi bako mm. Sia mwensi ya fe Stofu nyo e, Sia fe fe na Ate katonda akakanya abawe gulumiza mm. Muzei wafe Gweba ita mugenzi gadafi Yagena na ye ita kabaka wabaka baka Mpuli la sebo Na ite ya mana miyake tano kufa wea yoge lichigambe cho <laughs> Na ye chisera cheche hatu buka Nasikamu Kabaka wabaka waka aliogo Katonda So, njaga lokuli da batu uliza wa ganda wa finti Mwegende li zenyo enseno mm. Zena wa gamba Nema gamba ichi duchimu Mze mtebe ni okoze venabi okoze Oli wa amanyi mm. Ile nse kutia mm. Nye febola banu mze mtebe Nye tui na chetuli na mm. Wetuli ingi la street Nga tetuwa gala kumanya Fede tui na mayumba Yesu ina, yesu ina mameri na mamoto kange mkolachi mm. Gemuli na neo muli tukuwe emigo mm. Tujia kuwa tetu ina chetufivwa Chitake na mwa Nebo ni mtu kuwa ama sasi Tujia kuwa tetu ina chetukolachi Dize tigi agama, tina umusaji agama mafuta kage Taso ana gali yako Mze mkubuli da Chihuli le kufamu unze Narwa chita gali yako MOP Mzebe ndajia kulia kumafuta gonze mkuburi na naba predicting ila wano mku predicting ila saa weno Bidi abili mugumo mulawa mm. Agenda kutu ukanga uli muntu wa wademu government ya lia kusente Ezi wadeba nyaguru wanga baba mm. Yeah? Mm. Bali mkumono nyaku ingila isisi mkuburi ila Emu piyogere bina watu ukiri ila So wakana njogera nga mula, mula, mula muziki njogera katinga mula guzi Nga ngo, ngo, mula, ngo mula anzi O kariyada kadada Muzee Museveni akoze bintu Muzee Museveni ayagala kubera akoze so bintu bye nyinyi nganye dede byakola mm. ne nkwa me nkuruma byakola mm. ne no yo msaji ava ko yo yo oyo wa Zimbabwe byakola they they have the same ideology kubanga Museveni ayigira kubanyerere mm. akoze burungi Wawelu mm. na sanyusa other people mm. Na yefa abo munda na tukoto gira Muzei tutambude tulabie mm. mm. Ebyo kututi isatisa tebija tukole ya kuwa tulabie kunse nsubize Katitulinga bana baizi la hili ya baso Kani wakia na wala benze nsubize Ni wako mwone waga wabana hawe Yeri tusanze ye bibala mm. Tusanze ya wakaza wanyirida mm. Tusanze ye ude nunji mm. Bwebalo ano kuji ingira Eda baji ingira Chitegira mkanda wangu so when chiza mulu zungu ngamanti 
he has tried his best to do well on foreign policies, mm. but ignored the, the, the internal policies for Ugandans because we are the... Domestic policies. We are the first beneficiaries of Uganda mm. as a system. So if you ignore our the primary... Um, mandate mm. for your presidency as a as, as a leader mm. yeah mm. you do you've done worse kati ulira mafuta gafe jaga twala mafuta go soko nyunyo nyole ku mafuta go mwana chikenda kubera chitia um nze e chitu cha so kuga mandi chimanyi mu details but i don't think it makes any sense for me ama mafuta refinery egenda kubera yuganda nga tuga refinery ngira wa fe yuganda obaga genda kubanga refinery refinery zili jibagendo eh, guys amusimayi mwezo pipe za empulira pipe egenda kubeta ambuza kurudi obege na kubeta ambuza gawede gawede kusunsuwa si so wala kuri mandi egenda kubeta ambuza bwega to ransom mm. yeah mm. Kubanga ne, ne mafuta genyi nti gali mu transparency buli muntu wa buli nsizo neza gala mafuta zili Uganda to the moment yasoka na gawa ba China tena na gawa ba Japan hata bangiza bagagala hata ba America bagagala izo ze zimu ku nsonge zigeno muntu walanga ka gudde yo chogamba mafuta ge Uganda maji nyonyonyo tikaswano tuso ku muntu waza te wali nsiri mu mafuta ina mirembe <laughs> Choga mbagaja mufu, choga mbagaja mufu gira kagumba wegoge. Kankwe facts, walwe nsi, the second big, uh, nsi singa mafta, eyo kubili monsiyo, nedi lida Saudi Arabia, bajita Yemen. Mm. Ye second biggest producer of oil in the whole world. Mm. Ni ya mafta gabu, tipagafu na mu, even more than 20%, tipazungu webaga tuwara. Mm. Ne nsi nga nsi, tipagafu na mu, even more than 20%, toka it's the world's second biggest. Mm. Seceding Saudi Arabia. Mm. Ram Ram ngenda Ram unja kungenda kukolinga mkuu anongo ngenda kukubira ngo mwa. Era munsonga. Mwa miona amaze acha ina remark sizali mkuu. Era munsonge zikubiachi munsonge zikubia Gaddafi. Mm. Gaddafi was the third biggest oil producer munsiyo na. Mm. Ye yeah, aliyo kusatu munsiyo na Saudi Arabia, Yemen, then Libya. Mpuli ya tata. Nga senda ina nyingi nga buli waya gala atubuka u mm. Nga ba supply nga gasi buli chimu E chimu kubi ya katichovola beye wawo tiwajia kugwa lutalo Hawa zungu baba buli unakune baba mafta baba Umusajyo, umusajyo yogundi, umusajyo yoyo uh, Gaddafi wea fane nsi ya neta wangu ka, Ndaba kati Ndaba evi ya sere, sivai batu ndaba sere vuzi vichi ah! Mwana vika vya mazika Ye yo anti kat aba filika by no ku yiganti sometimes aba kurembeze in the ID test e chintu gaman to kwata kurembeze to basive. Mm the city agara nang and jaro mu kurembeze waba uba ye vire to naba kurembeze o kutava utagara kuva mu tevi. Base wogun twali siza oguni to mkurembeze waba de kun tevi. Asikaza privileges is ngo mkurembeze na protecting wa data civi wa uchtegeira. I had a chidwe chibye chidwe wogwe choino kumanya. Bano wa msebe ntipa investi nze Uganda. Okuja mm. kukujiba. Mbulida ya investi wa mtufe Uganda. Mbulida yomu. Tewali investa na we. Tali yo. Bubo akuwa atomu indi. Na abe anga afurumia sende. Azi tuwala indi ya Malaysia wa. Bichibi. Katika kwa mbaba abantu wa subiranti ya bantu wa genda kusa nyukida mm, mm. Gago babi, mubi ya mataka gabwe, musengu debi jabi ya abwe Gundi Ochege Nchitege la sebo So, mzeche nizo bagamba Mwizo kugamanti oyo MPI yugeda nyo na hebi ya bagamba mwili bidaba Nchitege la Oba ba mwagala, oba te mwagala Uganda ya kutelela, nga teka toda ajiteleza. Emu pito, emu pito yogera, nye emu pito yogera sense muganda. Pozi ngo mtu yobo yogera ya ata, ya bata vi uliliza burunji. Windu yogera, yogera sense. 
No kuata airport, no we to the airport services, no we to the airline. Nadia no name bagamba, governess juki da nebagamba, our side jabba to the Nunisa Uganda, Baziguza Rwanda, Nemoza and Bariba. A Nunisa Uganda is a Uganda near Wazi. Beyond none of Baziguza Rwanda. A Nunisa was Rwanda is that. Well, what is a young Nunisa Uganda Baziguza Rwanda? Neba kwa tebitu ya fewe na nebabi ye guza Kutesa beda tanga ya owning e, e gundi services ze chisawe Ezali zi owning iwe guanga Skando zizi no zivu dezi ni muyueni Tuba gamba nemuloza tuma lobu denga tuwe la kulai vunga tuwe gira These things have come out I spoke about these things five weeks ago Njagala muwebelele Kutesa umutu muna beda nga owning ewe bintu vena 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 Chidja chitia muganda wangi Na choke la nema gamba e eh, yugana na airlines baaji tunda ne baaji guza enyoni zafu ne baaji ne baaji guza Rwanda kubanga nze aina magazi mm. speed Rwandese airlines jefroli shingi da ko with no experience te chisoboka mpuri la muganda wangu Uganda inanga flights ezage na ngeita mm. lezi jela anda ni ezi, ezi shima nisi juki la brunchi mm, mm. ochegeira mm. so ebintu bie mba gamba muja kubira ba ante ulu 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 limi rutonzi tuwaba gamba on atebu lichise ya lia sendeza Uganda ngotunze bintu bia Uganda tujia kuba kwa ata Oloza emu pibu yo garanti mujia kuba kuwa atasibia mwevi evi gama atifana katuwele kutewe tuweme kufako reso Nebe muna gama ati mujia kule merako obude bugena kutuka oba robati chagulanyi oba nze emu pi oba gavanesi Ye. oba ni omwana jia kuja ere guanga di jia kuchuka Emu pina Kwa gala butaya gala Emu pina nge njaa kufuga mu mwana jebuja masa yunga mpese zemi ya kasatu mwe tano Ya kufuga mwa ba o... Mwe guza Bago baba ntwe na guru bako la wochi mburida Oba gona hata no mpamu muganda wange Zenja kufuga chisanja chimu <laughs> Kata ya bali wano baseka <laughs> Ademu koze nsobi ebizimbe ne mubizimba Muko ze nsobine muzimbe, bizimbe, ne mukolachi. Sende zili mu wiring, te zibu la. Muzi wiring, ze katipapa kwa tila kusisti muenga la bizini. Mm. <laughs> na mwolea ya ne China ye. <laughs> e lawe masanjabwe, ne muina magezi. Singa mwari musobola, you, you should have invested at home. Mm. E lawe mbaburi, na sende zonaze mubie muzize, mm. mulo koke. We muta aloko ke Ne haba naba mwe ba, Ne haba zukuru ba mwe Baja kule meru kude Uganda Mbabu ulida Kwa Milton Milton ya limadi Mkuru Milton ya limadi Nga yogera ku industrialization ni Muganda wange Nga industrialization Industrialization ya Uganda Bweri enfu Mwina industry Chimuko la chi Nga nebijiko mubija wabwelu wakwanga Ne padi ya zise mba yo Mwina bu company company walieka wempe Buko la padi ya zio cha habana E bako Baina bu company buko la zipadi ya zio cha habana mumbugo Zuko la bu padi ne bu pampo buo cha yo cha habana Mwini te mwina yo industry Iii nga ba ba Toi za kukona bintuna yo cha Yo cha habana mumbugo Na ye, mm. njaga na mbabu useye chibuzo chimu. Mchibuzo ya kwe governance na batfudize sawe. Yesebo, genda masu. Habana be muruwa nyisize Somalia. Haba agende Iraka. Haba mm. bate Sudani. Haba bana bafe. Haba bate wabana bafe. Where is that? Mm. Where is that? Mm. Mubate geke ndechinga bako miewo. Ye Uganda funira muo kuruwane ntaroseyo. Mze sima nyi mnyo nyoramu Mwemu manye nyo Kupana wafe kufabri unaku na boku ingi za sente mochi Mwaka onti za abwe Echibuzo tangeche ya jemuri Mwabatu lava 
Barefi jiba nobe muingiza ba wera milioni yomukaga. Muba tege kede chencha mumia kakumi neta no kuvorwa lero. Muba tege kede naba nababwe. Barefi jiba meka? Barefi jiba meka? Over 6 million refugees have entered Uganda. These are Rwandese and Congolese and Sudanese. Sweden is one of the biggest refugees in the world. They are not only from the Atenga Singaga, Neva Kabo, Ruka, but they are also from the Amateka. So, how far have you been in the million? You are going to be able to get to the other just student wano ya ingiza mituwaru mutuwaru mituwaru mutuwari ya java antu na ye ni baga mba ye vigena kukono na ekonomi ya ye guanga vigena kukona vichi eh ziboda ni wana nikuwa kuzikarabuli wa muhu mu ingiza barethi jibano mutege kedaba na babwe na haba zukuru babwe ni nduwade zeba zena zo ni kalicha zeba zena zo ni mize jeba zena jo muji tege kede Uganda, Uganda, Uganda funo buyambi muyu enyo kubera nabu ba refugizi. E bufuna na esentezo bebazi dia angaba individuals. Na yemba buli deba sajja mwe. Uganda eja kutaboka. <laughs> Anag. Ah, Uganda bana esi ya fe. Esi ya fe bali mukujitunda. Ani agulensi kuba tujitunda. Lika tujitunde mu biba jo bajju. Afrika Unze Gwendiva nchali muna mwebigambo viemba gamba Anu mwenja kubijukida Nti akasaji ya kari ngalanda Nne kayo gira mm. Nyeza no kwa siri interested Kubela mkule mbeze Oba mpise mwa siise mwa Na yemba bulida Yugande Emu pizi njaira kufuga mwa wana O oh, jage no fuge mwa Te wali mzibu na ye oh. Oba mnigiriza bobi waini Owa mkute MOP, owa mkutani ya yugira ko, obude bugenda kufuka mtu. Sina wakweza mweza miaka jifuga, newe na jifuga, njaku, njaku fuga mwana. Njake. Kwa tuine vitu vitu nyo mtu soko, <laughs> mtu soko kore ili kwanga, MOP kena maso. Nena ero mwana, olida uni, uraika mwana, wama chichi. A, amba do msanze mba kweba kwa. Eee, wama chichi, kwa MOP sebu. Nenga mkana ange, hmm. Amazima go gali inti. Uganda ija kuchuka. Ya chitufu nyo mganda oba. Emupi, emupi vya ugele vigambo vikuru nyo. Oba mwagala, oba te mwagala. Iguanga ija kuchuka. Uganda will change for better. Habana bali wano, habana bali wano bagala kufuga mubo. Bola ba wano, ba dize tiki bagala kufuga mubo. Ani, ba chintu. <laughs> emupi no za kankwede. Kankwelekele ze taka. Nganange kankwelekele ze. Kubangu nenda kutani kapewi soon. Nina yo mgenyo mkulu. Elan sabana awo. Beire yo mzei. Kale sebo. Na haba kuwelekele. Kale sebo. Na haba kugobele labo nina. Kale sebo. Na yanza mzei yokundi tako kutugogo. E, e, nena nja kueta. Nja, nja kueta. Nga mganda wangu. Kupapu li sata de. Tukene kati kuli sata. Nenda kumela ngane. Nenda kumela ngane mini. Tone alimadi. Mbele, mbele ne Voice of Uganda, mbele ne MUP, hey, buli Saturday. Muganda wa chikenda kufa cha tabu nyo. How come vyuma vyo vya atelede? Chikenda vya atelede? Bulani vyuma vya atelede, sanyo liye nino li manyi. I can invite as many people as I can, mwana. <laughs> Ni wano niku nkuma na bulati bulani. <laughs> Kale Muganda hangi. E Facebook ya wudido mlanga kwa. E Facebook hane nisa mubi sente za hangi, mwana. Gege... <laughs> Ngeagana, <laughs> echi nungeagana kuchita. Kale mgana angine ya nzanyi. Kale mupi mwana, akume. Akume mpama. Ah, wana. Kankwilera mwono. Ramu jangu, ramu jangu, ramu jangu. Fune wali netu waka, gende, gendo lidane wifi. Ramu, 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 ramu. Ramu. 
Ramu walu wangeza wako invite inga nyabu. Na ira mutala vika. Kangeze kwa kudamu wako invite inga. Atenga ramu ya alina waka. Ramu ni muku kubira wano. Nesitege alwa chitoja. Ramu abantu wakweta gana ye. Ramu sewo linaba wagizi wano. Hmm. Abantu wakweta gana ye. Kui invite inga. Kui Netu wakaira ika. Mbika ngezeko kui invite inga wano. Selex Ren. Ya gambi na imu invite inga. Alaka linari max za yaga luku wao wao. E negu wa msajia kwe. Iku msajia kwe mwana buli jonku no nyabula di story chi. Wajia kumu. Ndali salari. Ndali sex. Abantu unga muembeta ga. Abantu unga muembeta ga kula ivu mwana. Muli na bigambo imogiri ivi ama kuru mwana. Katu wacho vula voto mwana lasta. Bakubo lusi mbeira kwa bizo manye vitavo. Mbula ya kwa chima vitavo. Sata date saka uvele bize nyonyo. Sata date mba mbeita. Kwa kati sata date. Sata date njaga na njaga 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 Ngambeda ne, 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 ne emu piru vaga. Ngambeda ne Senex Reni. Ngambeda ne guni ne Voice of Uganda. Ngambeda ne Baruamu. Echi ntu tuchikube. Era mba uli devo nwa. Mba uli devo nanga batuza mwa. Echi ntu tuchikube. <coughs> gwe, 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 gwe. Chiru unji nyo. Uh, ndoza obanta andikile wa. Kubanga lero topic ya te nungi nyo. Tani kila una uo ya gala Nze nkwa gala kochi nitu chimuli Uli analisti murungi Analisti Ndoza kama nkwa zesemu kuluzungu Luwaba ganda wafabata tegela luganda Nkwa zeso luganda Burai chukube muluganda Kale uh, Nsonga ya tribalism mm. e, Nsonga Nabaga mba mm. kodda konti mm. divide and rule method Ya mm. president wa FM7 mm. Na ye let us not allow it Okutuwa mm. ukanya. Mm. Eleme tuwa ukanya. Kwa anga, nagenda ke mbalala. Mm. Mwintu kake ushenyi. Mm. Bananga abantu bayo abamu bali bubi. Elabu ulaba Bobby Wayne weyari, uh, not Bobby Wayne, besige weyari ya mbalala. Mm. Support ya ina nene nyo. Mm. Tuleme kubiteka ku regioni. Wabula tumanye. Mm. Wangu akabondo, akabantu, mm. families. Mm. Habi nganda kuna habi mikuana. Mm. Habi nganda kukola chi. Okoze saka, aka kisako, balita mm. mwana wakudia, mm. mwana mm. wakudenga, weno mm. gamba, ah, wanyanko na wanyanko na wewa. Mm. So, let us as Ugandans stand together, ngabwe tuwali ku independent, mm. like we are in the 90s, mm. stand together as Ugandans, tusobole mm. okuwansa this ideology of divide and rule. Mm. Kubanga, the thing we want, aba mm. China, these mm. are the kids of these people. Mm. Togenda kubwa jako, without mm. pulling them on your side. Mm. So this game to design mm. chess, not to cause chess. Mm. Be friendly. Mm. Show them that there is hope after daddy. Mm. But my auntie, daddy, when daddy goes away, tell me what do. At all of mugabe, mugabe engage as a day. Kati Avant Baba Gamba, okay, governments can change and the person can stay. In this case we can tell these kids, as long as you earn things in the right way you will be able to stay. So they will stand with us. And sing America, look at America. To be sincere, Bush would be in prison. Obama would be in prison. I'm sorry to say this, because these people attacked countries without sincere reasons, just on their economical reasons. Katuleme genda yo nye yo. Togenda yo. We should also learn to... Togenda yo teva to blocking ku Facebook. We should also learn to... We should mm. also learn to to provide a way of continuism. To let me gamma to know government we vow but never ino genda ah ah to gamb a college chama I know say sema a college tooth or just sigalao. Invest on mutuku, your wealth, your business will survive. Invest on cham give us accountability. That's it. Mm. Uganda will become a great nation. Mm. Again. Thing, it will become a great nation Uganda. again. <laughs> Another mm. thing about Bobby Wine. Bobby Wine, I love him so much. I love his ideas. Na ye tuleme mule kamutala ye ka. 
let us stand with the man. We need more young people, more activists. Uh, activists. Mm, so mm. he's alone, they will singleize him. Bagena mutandika omuchoje. Now his music. Nze vana ukufana ilo nangiri de. Ndi muyimbi ate activist tiera. Muna ansonyi wabana nangiri chisi zobu vish. Yeah. We should stand and together. Kuvanga uberu uomu chango kukuba. But if we have... Ze ndi muyimbi ate activist. Mbana imuna ansonyi wacho vana kuna binebi intu. Walua joku gamba governor ni muyimbi. To ingira mbindu vya politics na ya. Ze ndi muyimbi ate ndi activist. Muna ansonyi wacho ogede. Ha. Era echo chirunji nyo, we need more musicians basobolo standing and afe. Kubanga, if you look at Congo, if you look at South Africa, many musicians, many people in diaspora, they stood with these countries. They stood with their people. Fe abantu abari unawona wori, be it in Rwanda, bere, Congo, bere, e, e, Mubulaya, bere, mm. Muamerika. We mm. should stand behind our people. We should mm. talk to everyone to explain the situation. Mm. We are decampaigning Uganda. Ah, we are opening the eyes of the people. Because mm. our president, Mugezi Nyo, he Nyo. knows his threat mm. is America, Europe. Okay? Mm. So, mm. as Indi Kabana wa a Somalia, ni wa fe. It works for countries like Turkey. Because mm. mm. in refugees by Yingire, to mm. secure his own ground. Mm. Now, if Ugandans, what are we benefiting? Mm. I'm after moving to Baga where is it? Tanzania crude oil. Kuvanga mm. refinery is very rich. Take it. Again, not only refining products. It's in Tanzania. Ne bana ge. Ne bana. Ebi onga vi numa. Yeah, that's the fact. Now, we emili, as you. Katia mi emi mubaji emi emi mubaji kavi Tanzania. Anti che che chizibu e chiriwo. The problem is that the system luli na Baga ambako. Okufuga abantu abali educated. Chizibu nyo. Atofuga abantu abali innocent. is the most difficult. It's better to keep the people poor so that you lead them. Na ye, we as Ugandans, we should stand against this system. We should stand against this ideology. Era, we can... I don't know the... Ne, Buladi, we... Buladi, are you sure mafuta bagena refinery zigena kubera gundi? Zigena kubera Tanzania? Of course, ate pipelines are... Nekati wanange, mwakama katunda yu, anaye, ana, ataka gawara subura majina ansuwa wanange, tuwa subute majina ansuwa, ah, kumakati yeje mili mujina, kumakati ulira mkanda, mwepati lifana lezi Tanzania, kumakati mbade kubisa mwe chilozo wa nandaba, singa lifana lezi vera Uganda, habana habana Uganda, pagezo kusoma mafuta, muzi university, ulaya wa dempuri, antibasa indika wazi tribu, zimuzo kazo kaa, Na hii, baba deba genda kufune emirimu, haba tuwa deba genda kufune emirimu, nekate jemirimu jari, ejari finali, kate eju joji, jikenda kubaji haba Tanzania. Kwa tokenda yeah, kujenu, shall... tokenda kujenu muna yuganu mtuwa li Tanzania, ne Tanzania na uva lina haba kasuru, haba habisoma. We should not lose hope. We should not lose hope as Ugandans let us work together. Haba liye wakana, haba liye wala yonayona, we should stand together. Because... The war is not against uh, one person as seven is against a system and ideology. Mm. So we should stand together to manage when you look at the problems as zero, the doctors, education, mm. everything is down. Mm. It's the same issue. Mm. So as Ugandans, the more we stand together, mm. whatever we do together, we mm. shall really overcome. Mm. That's the, the message I wanted to give you today. Mm. Ela, I thank you very much for calling me. Nebu msajja gwe gwe live ya Saturday njagale ebere ngakaba sajja nga mwe ne yimbulali ngo omuntu bwabata jira byeta teyeba kagamba buli kasira ngalinda live ya Saturday kyenjagalo okutandi kanga buli muntu abali na live ya Saturday by the way another thing let us stop thinking that everyone should become a president kubanga tetsobola ku kugansi abantu 10 omulungu gwo atitusobola about how to develop our country we mm. should think about how to make a, a better Uganda. We want our kids to live in. Mm. We should think more than just being a president because mm. only looking at the position of being a president is the mm. same way fighting one person. Mm. Mm. At the bigger picture of it. Yeah, it's true for you, Okay, greetings to everyone and mm. thank you for this chance. Call Ram or another person I also follow up around here. Kale kan kubire ramu ono. Ramu ori waba nange sweetheart. Jangu ramu wano tese.
Hello. Ogamba chiram. Jendi ogamba chi. Tawali. Kati. Iya. Mwa. Kantu kide kumoda mwa. Ne? Mwa mi Milton mwudi de. Ne? Ayogede kucha industrialization. Ya? Na ye. Ugenda mudiri. Na ye. Unze che ngamba. Ensi ya pete sobo la kubwa industrialize. As long as government bo ya de jamu buyinza ya jawo echintu cha nationalization ebintu byo nebi ali mikono ya government ote mm. nebi teka mu privatization mm. ochitegera that mm. means tele ready ku providing employment to mm. the public mm. ochitegera mm. net ochitegera tele na ready industries at this singer government ebe ino kuba muno omukono Mm. So, kati yote believing that mu government ku, ku owning a bint. Mm. What does it mean? That means that they are encouraging industrialization in Monsi. Mm. Wanga teddy part of it. Mm. We shall always give out raw things. Watch together. Fete tu sobo la kwe manufacturing ida chintu out of our own products. Luachi. Kubanga government tebi tade mumu kono. Tuwe tagisachi. Government e ino kuba part of it. Na as long as te believing it anti government. Kuba fete tuina any government institution. Bio nabio nebi a government. Babi tunda. Babi wa into privatization. Mm. Meaning bili owned by individuals. ochitegera <laughs> 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 industries eh okuja kongwa muntu chinomu ya zene yete lao industry otegera atene ziri wazo na ezi suda obezi waba antu chinomu kati yao privatization industrialization uwebe dedambu teja kusobo kawafe otegera unless nga government is it true so kubeno government te believe in gida mo nationalization mo bintu kubanga vya government Mm. Ochi tegeda? Mm. Ono nga kwa kambe textile industries ya gwa, yes, vyo nabudi cha government te wali chidi wo. Olaba ne housing, national housing, yeah? And, mm. ish, and the national housing ya di wo. Yo naba mm. atiko, daba teachers budi somero di ainanga ba teachers quarters. Ochi daba? Zo naba mm. zituna, te wacha di somero di inaba teacher weba beda. Kale no ulire bintu ebyo mwana baba tuliko chi cha government te chichali wo kati echo ne tuchimala mm echilala oyo mwami mp abaddeko mm abadde mm. ayogeda anti government nabo budi badde ja kuvako nabo budi badde ja kuvako mm. otsegeda na mm. ye echisokera dada mm. ebyo byo nabi ayogedde budi omwabi manyi mm ate budi omwabi wudida Mm. But mm. what is the point? The point is the way forward. Mm. What can we do? Mudi mukoza anti ba youth to the banji ba gundi to the banji. Temusobo da kuba banji nga temusobo da kwe kunganya. Kwe kula mudi mu. Ocha kusa anga ba youth banji kuchado na itebe mani. Nze, nze ramu katindi activist. Ate mudi jonchi ina mutima. Na kuwamba desi vanga yuko baga amba. Odi mugezi. Hmm. Chechinko sasa nebi no kujia live abantu bajiba ogele kubini. Kumkutu kwa ngele ngu wayo. Lenga mm. abantu bajiba tese kubini. Tuwe viva ruma. Kwa kubani uh -huh. nine, ninecho kubela activist mumutima kwa ngele muli munda. Kwa ngele ya ngele ya gali zeviru unji ngaze kumiake mitoje nina. Aha. Kati mm. what do we need? We need way forward of many things. Or mm. take it up. By youth. Mutima nyiburu unji baada tao public order bill. Or take it up. Muntia bantaba ina kukungana. 
kati wa muba nga mchima nyi ntine yoguni tekiri ziba mba yuthi wa mudi mkwa mwino kwe kwa la muku chado muteke wo kangambe e mizanyo kuchado kudi chado china e chisawe baby take home mm. yungo skip outside otegeda mm. budi chado chini ne chisawe mm. ubenga muke nda mubi oku sambo mupida Mm. That's how you will interrupt kuchado. Mm. Ochitegeda, abantu ba ino kumanyo kuzimba network from mm. down. Mm. Neba manya network. Ochiraba, neba kenda mubiyo kutambo mupida, katiba mm. nongaba leaders imbu tujako gundi. Ojako gundi, oyagala kujako government inga ibe ne kuchado cho. Abantu wa badiko toba manyi. Na kukubida kampanyi ni omudaba koro. Mm. Ram, Ram. Ngenda, ngenda kukua edachi kazi, ngenda kukua edachi kendara tanu, umalirize, oo muami wuna ya tese, waru na barabali wanabaga lukute sa mami. Kale, kale, kale. Kale, mm. the way for chamber dengamba, echi singo bukuru, bantu mm. baino kumanyo kuzimba network within themselves. Mm. Ochitegeda, mwe baba mm. baga lukutuka jebadaka, atene mchine echi, ntubabe muna abageza, baba badiza. Mm. Ochitegeda, ababa mm. baliza, abantu mwino kumanya kuchado kuno tuina kaba antubweba Tigundi kwa ene nyumba, edie nyumba bafe, edie nyumba bafe, edie nyumba bafe mm. Ochitegeda, zani, mm. okubele yonga temuma nive na kuchado Bani abadi kwa kujia kubawa sente bajike mwa Waluwa gambi bisawe teviche aliwo etakali ya makalisa, etakali ya makalisa liunawa alizi imba mu Kade mkolevi bina vyo kuyimba, kare muedaba Mm. Kangambe karioki kuchado. Budi mm. chado mbagambe wadi wadi woku yimba mukarumu. Muka mm. We woku we musobolo kweda bida. Ne muema nya kuchado. Mm. Otegeda kata mm. we musobolo kuzimbida network. Mm, mm. Chovoda ba chovoda ba muntino. Kati chovoda ba muntu. Kati kukanzide kuchaifu ditsi katini. Chovoda ba muntu. Unze mtu mm. muwagidanti, ya bagamba okuzimba network. Mm. Na ye mtu mm. problem jaina edyemu, unti ye tasoboda politics. Asoboda mm. kuwa advisor. Mm. Aina ideas, but tasoboda kujana yogeda, tasoboda kumobilizing about. Mm. Mm. Ochitegeda, chechoka. Mm. Na ye he's a good man, he's a bright man. Na ya soboda kuwa mageti, but he cannot mobilize. Ebi intu bia mobilization, bia tagabu, ngaba Bobby Wine, babe, CJ. Mm. Otege, na ye musiri, se mukaka mu, even mm. if he talks, biti ya da yogeda sense, tadi ya gada mudi, da bantu baka da yogeda point, ne bajitegeda, siku da kajido woza ako. Chitegeda, musaje, musaje ye mukaka mu. Mukaka munyo to be in pol active politics. Aina kubeno wansi wa secretary. Adiva advisor. Mm, advisor. Ochitekeda. Kade. Checho chamber dengamba in short. People have yeah. to mobilize themselves. Baino kwe koda mua mudimu from mm. wansi. Mm. Gaba mani ba antu chibe tu ina ba antu chibe tu koda na bo. Mm. Ateno musa joyo akote sa nye chintu cha divide and rule. Eda chika zuzuwe ndeko ramu. Baby jangu. Ono tamare midonde ya umukazi. Eee. Na uwe mkwande eda chika tano, wawona wala na waga nukutesa wano mganda wano. Ok. Zengenda kwa brief ungaburi jo. Kakati zengenda kwa gira kuchunta nike kucha privatization yeyo. Narina ya gara dojo gira. Kwa basa java nubebari etebi evi intu evi okutunde evi intu evi ensi ya fe Uganda. Abantu wabafayo nebabi wagira. Bebantu wabatu nde ensi ya fe. Mm. Kubanga, Uganda ya inevi intuye ye korela Tuwa ina coffee marketing board mm. Eyo ya li evuna nizuwa kubi intuye coffee mm. Bweba, evi obyo nabu bagi na mune batu nde evi intuye Yo neba jigara ezo gundi organization Zo na cooperative zo na neba zi closing Ga neba tu nde evi intuye avi obyo na Kati omuanyi we guli hawa antu hawa guli Mateba ina jeba gutunda mm. Newe hawa funye jeba gutunda Teba funa msente zimara <laughs> Yi, ngabo, ngabo, ngabo otani soko gira mantu nebe yongira? Eee, bambanyi, zendo gira sense. Ya, <laughs> 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 mtu ade ye magezi. 
Nakatinenteroko <laughs> Eda wa mm. marujugula wa situla mubi yuma ni wabi tuwala mm. Yunaiti runefa mm. Niba nange Ewe yunaze vingari ya mazika kugeje njagara mwe guangari yange Eda yuganda eri wo yonge eri, eri nge kore la Rwanda Faba zimba Rwanda yo jemura wa enjiriro kufobu fi Fetuda wansi boba kura kurana Mpulida Mshitegeda mm. Na enge vya dada Eyo privatization ya jakutu Kono na ansirensi ya fio na fudebuli chimu na sente ya fio na ya faro privatization. Mshitegeda. Mm. Ato mm. kuzibu obu hali wa privatization ya andi badente ya bintu babi guzaba na Uganda. Mshitegeda. Mm. Na yu kuzibu obu hali wa na Uganda atete bali na sente. Habali mm. mbatenga habali na sente bebobe njini. Elebi mm. tono tone baso ula bdone babi yega vida. Aktole te babi tunda boba habi yega vida. Ebe mm. beoda kutesa vya hali na. Mwana mako mm. kutesa anga alamu zeche chisawe. Mm. Uh, 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 for, for, for him for him he thinks according to his perception it will be so hard for Uganda to take this government down we are dealing with the military government so what i think is the is the army itself to change their mind and have a and have a love of their nation, which I think might be hard because they were divided to Sabebu Sabina, Uganda, Eguau. Echo Chobwe Chidi, yo Uganda, where Eguau. Ate Ame, Ame Yamas Mago. That's so good enough. So, Kovek government, military government, military Jevariba, and Variinga Fe. Abamu Jevariba Kwano Bafe, Abamu Baganda Bafe, Baganda Bafe, Baganda Bafe, 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 Nero wakubo obu zibu obu li uo, omuntu wali mumajari inga wali mkomera, echa bantu tebachi manji. Mm. Ochitegeda, ama jege wa fetegari inga majega zinensi, buobeda mm. mumajie Uganda obamu komera. Joana bale mkutumi demu kwa anu. Obamu sive, mm. ochitegeda, ntibuli mm. chini nacho nacho okora, obeda mm. control inga mwana wa somero, chovora basula na mubisulo, ngabia mm. somero. Mm. Ochitegeda, baba mm. wabu wika holiday na agenda keka. My, Michael Rubekagambe, maybe, maybe is right now. If the army is not ready to cooperate with the people, then we don't, we, we, we don't know what to, what, what to do. We ever know. Paula, Martha, Martha, Nagarama, unkutumi deni, tukueta aga kuno mukuto no mchara ba muita Martha Nagarama, tumueta aga wana. A commenting yako wana dachi kazi na tiro kugua kumuganda wana. Tumueta aga actually yomo kumukwa no gua um. Uh, Milton Alimadi Zakutuale kwenna manjina Milton Alimadi Abeda hey. Olave abe, 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 Milton Alimadi Ya yeah, Abeda Canada Ono mchara Abeda Canada Martha Milton Alimadi Elana yetu mweta Agawa no bevanda wa ina sense Yee yeah, Milton Alimadi Mwanda wa ina sense Actually wa political analyst Mwana zinaba mi Nalaba Milton Alimadi Nalaba Milton Alimadi ku YouTube Ngayogera ku Jeno Saidi Ah, uh, uh, yeah. No, they are following up about Milton, Eba, Martha, Bowen, DK, into every quarter, can see your finger be a view of the Nini. I don't know how many Milton, you are Jerumwa to Tangazam, the genocide, you, a good way, you, a new way, you know, to get a go about what I mean. I know could judge Tangaz, a question to a chichavaita cone, Kuakone, Bagamanti, 
si si muntu li just ringa operation ya kore bweyo mu north naye i know kujabi tunnyonyore tu ajabi tunnyonyo ajale ne mwami mm. mawo aina bya wandikira ya biwandika ko kuba ye ali direct mu ebye bintu bya kone abitegera mm. burungi mawo ne sima yo batusobola mufuna be bantu tetulaka ku te wali wogwe tutagenda kufuna kuguno omukutu Eh mm. asanda akoragana na mmwe mwabantu asanda akoragana na mmwe mwabantu bembera na ku mukutu wano mmwe mugendo kunyamba ko kundetera aba abantu mmm ochitegera muba yeah. sindikira muba sindikira zi message ne muba boka nyinyi nyinyi muba boka nyinyi muba aba muri mikono jamu ku facebook aba ona lebo zake bani mmwe muba sindikira zi message banamba bahona lebo nambo zi muba sindikira zi message eh ne mbaga mba tubeta aka ku mukutu e wa governor es kubanza aba musibali na nange zeke nyinyi njagena ku facebook account za wengezeko kuba sindikira mwe eno live egenda kutabuka Hey, hey, Nze nchiko bafa one sense ochitegera te bajja kuzikuya sente kwai kwera ga ochitegera baje mubadambu ze bintu mubayise mubalage bintu wanonga bwe bikola system mubalage system wano wetambula bagende eri eri te twetaga sente kukula kula nya Uganda ochitegera Uganda te yetaga sente saida 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 nachi muri anyo saida nachi muri anyonge anyonge demo amanyi nangamba gabola to tukusaba oleme kutiti kutiti lira oyimirire ku muramu wa fewe tuli siso bona kutitirira kine kintu ze ze no eno just nafuna calling okuveri mukama katona ngamba genda ku facebook eh nafuna calling nakaga ku facebook mutese ku bintu ebiru mekwanga kyendiko eh tutesa butesa eh tutesa butesa fe tutesa butesa tutesa ebirozo tutesa ebiku bintu ebiru mekwanga na jama ku eh tuli na wano just ku ku exchanging of views mm. o ku ku kula kugamba ku advising abantu ochitegera na kuoka ku ebye biliwo munsi ya banyambi abantu banyambi basharinga abantu munayo bagamba basharinga ti basharinga bashe basharinga nafe tusharinga munange twagale echi ogendo kumara ogendo ogendo kumara ogendo kumara ka kuliko shares ogendo kumara ka kuliko abantu anamu basatu ogenda kumara ka kuliko shares 10 ni webu za watu wana wade baraba nga views zili muru kumi nega tiba ashe ya liinze tiba ashe ya liinge kati tude kumuramua mm. tude kumuramua haba sanjo kumanyaba hatu tunda ni batu kano kutunda banka commercial banka ni batu ni batu kuma kutunda banka nga banka ni batu guzaba south africa ni batu unda nebizi mbebi ayobi una properties mm. na ye echibuzo chidi inti sente ze badja mbintu bibi ya beba hatu unda ziriwa Nuko basaja na basaja bana iba bifekera bali na sente banange. Iyo yo question is bali na kujenebuza essence zaba mu bintu ebyatundibwe ebyegwanga. Ziriwa oba za akola chi. Echiambe gwanga. Ye question ye liko kuba batunda buli chimu. Ne kakati bacha atunda mpuri ya Lake Victoria baji tunda ke kitundu baji guzaba China era abantu wabakiriza kujja yo byanyanja. This is reality. Namakuru wa gatunda. Mukuru wange winding up mu dakika 2 mpito omuntu omulala atese mbade ba, nyagalo mpitire maso yo ngenda geza ko muweleza message ajao muyite okay, okay. mchala abera uh, Canada ya yes, yes, activist yes, na ye mm. awandika nnyonyo ku bintu bya politics actually sina Uganda yokka kumpi munsi yonna abere mm. yo muntu wa Alimadi babere yo bantu balunji nyo kale mm ye byo sijja kuogera bingi na ye tusanyuse nyo olweno mm. program jo related de mm. nunji no eyigiriza kati chemba abantu ngabo chemba sababa uliriza mwenda 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 na abaraba mugezeko ku connectinga ku bantu aba abamanya abasoro kujja ku forum ya fino ne batese bintu ebyo vunanyizwa ngaba beti namboze ngaba agundi ngaba ngaba onalebo zake <laughs> Bani ya betu nda. Ya huu ya commenti nze. Huu ya commenti nze. Commentioning. 
Okay, come with you. Mamuita alo ya komenti za chayo keke ofe za alivere stabo ni na yetu mweta aga. Okay, mamu. Alivere stabo ni na yetu mweta aga. Okay. Okay, wama. Uh, Mathali ya na garama agamba uh, agamba uh, Fatima, Fatima Hajati agamba governor lika abantu bogere mukwana abantu bogera na ye bantu banji buli omwaka ro kuwe birozo so program tuliza kuwa ba muntu omu yekka kuogera yanda sanyo kubanga eri organized kuba wano request nzenzira bezije za abantu abagalo bayito kuogera so tuno kubera brief and precise ne tuogera no yogera ku chintu then ne mpita abantu abalala bwe ba that again in neta ku kuita ne kuita again just kuba buli omu mwa chance na yogera Fatima Hajat. No program ya abantu. Kampite Martha. Matha, Matha, I'm trying to invite you. Hmm. Matha. How does this thing work? Hello? Hey, how's everybody? Mbabozi za mulimutia. Jetu, jetu li, baku ulira Mujeva leko, mujeva leko Babuze kwe, balitu li bulu unje Osinzi di wanyamu Aunt, nzendi Canada Na ya musika na agendo batu unda mwena Aga kura ya You see when the Libyan agenda batu unda He's going to sell you into slavery He's already doing it anyway Aunt, yeah Okay, so my Luganda is really good when I write it Or when I read it but it's not very good you can topic. talk in English, no problem. Okay, so the topic is about the current uh, political situation in Uganda, right? Yeah. Oh, what is the theme for uh, uh, tonight? Yeah, we are to we are talking about uh, we are talking about privatization uh, of our industries. We are talking about um, the Kutesa's saga. Um, we are talking about um, um, tribalism. Okay, the thing is, uh, let's, let me just go back to the private, privatization, right? Mm. In 1986, as soon as Museven took over, yeah. the first thing he did was go into privatization. Yeah. What happened at that time was um, we owed a lot of money to our IMF and the World Bank mm. and were put under austerity measures, yeah. not quite right away, but there yeah. was the threat of it. Mm. So what Museven did is he used that as an opportunity to tell everybody that he was going to privatize in mm. order for us to get efficiencies mm. so we could uh, have the parastatals run more efficiently so mm. Uganda could develop faster, so he could eradicate poverty within uh, 10 years, right? Yeah. Yeah. The first thing that he did was he sold off all the parastatals. Some of you do not know. My father used to run the Uganda Post and Telecom. Oh, and he left just before M7 took over, when mm. M7 was in the booth. Mm. Because the writing was on the wall. But our parents were a lot more smart at that time. They were paying attention. They knew what was coming in. Mm. And M7 had an agenda to strip Ugandans off every asset that we had. Mm. So as soon as M7 took over, the first thing he did was mm. he said that um, all the civil servants who were 50 years old had to mm. retire. Mm. He eventually moved it to 55. Mm. But he got rid of 60,000 civil servants immediately. Mm. Those mm. civil servants were teachers, were civil engineers, were regular people. They mm. made good money. They educated us based on their salaries. They were paid on time. Mm. And the corruption was not as rampant as now. Mm. So the minute he got rid of those six, um, 60,000 civil servants, you imagine if each person is uh, responsible for eight people, because remember, mm. you usually have four children, then you have your two parents, and then you have the two parents from your spouse. Mm. So one person supports a minimum of eight people. Mm. So we're talking about eight people times 60,000 are all of a sudden without income. Mm. Those people go back into the countryside because most people always had land in the countryside. Mm. 
Mm. They will go and they'll grow their coffee and their tea and their mm. cotton. Mm. And they will export these things and they'll continue having mm. uh, money to send their kids to uh, school. Mm. Right? Mm. Now, what happens with that is while he got rid of the civil servants, he sold off UEB. I mean, it came later. Mm. UCB later. Uganda mm. Airlines later. Mm. Railway Corporation. Mm. Uganda Transport Company. All those parasitos, he sold all of them off. But where is our and nation going selling it's, all that? It's not, it's not only that he sold them off. He actually gave them to his family and his, his uh, thugs. So all those corporations were sold with him among his family and among his relatives. You can ask Salim Sadeh. He knows a lot of this. In mm. fact, if you ask um, um, General Sejusa on Babazi mm. or even Veste or Mutu, mm. they know mm. what happened with all these things, mm. right? Mm, mm. The problem with that is um, we did not pay attention because it was not affecting us. But gradually, mm. as Museven was impoverishing the country, he was stripping everybody of, of their dignity, right? Because the next mm. thing he did after that, remember, he destroyed the cooperatives. Once he destroyed the cooperatives, people could not pull together and sell coffee or cotton mm. or tea. Mm. Mm. So then they became more dependent on the government. Then mm. after that, he... Um, for the good one that he said, uh, muzare, muare, muzare, muare. education mm -hmm. is going to be free. Mm -hmm. So I was in, um, in Uganda in 1996 for Christmas, and everybody in the village is jumping up and down. They're going to have babies. Everybody's making babies. Why? And I asked them, why are you making so many babies? They mm -hmm. said, oh, Mr. <laughs> said, you make the babies, and you give me the babies, and I'm going to educate all your babies. So <laughs> really? Yes, I said that's a bit stupid. I think I think I think he was brained, introducing it, free it, education. They were so branded. He, yeah, so he introduced free education in 1997, right? Mm, mm. And for that UPE, I remember with Duda, people used to have four children. Now they have like twelve. Mm. But nobody was thinking ahead. Without cooperatives, mm. you could not mm. sell your coffee individually. Uh, so you're in you, uh, stuck uh, with these children. Martha, these children go to the Martha, yes. Martha, Martha, Martha. Mm. Shakura Naframwa is saying, Martha, you have Orinawak. When someone says Orinawak, he's trying to mean that you are, imp you are informed. And he, he is like, please bring all of it here. Okay, name the one, the canyon, the one, the canyon. Now, let's go to Martha every Saturday. Um, Sawa is our no ziba kumina bidi. Yeah, this is okay. No, this is this timing is perfect for me. This timing yeah. is perfect Kati, for me. Tu, tu because it's just afternoon for me. Yeah, okay. tuja kueta. I will always come. Mm. Yeah, what I will need is in the future, I will need people to prepare questions to ask mm. me because yeah. it's easier for me to answer questions. Because yeah. I have so much in my head. If I start talking, I'll take too long. So it is mm. better if they ask me questions and then I answer each question individually so mm, maybe mm. i should stop now and then people ask questions and then yeah. I'll, I'll give you my take if i don't know i'll go back and research and then i'll answer next week yeah and what i'm saying is uh it's better you send me a friendly request i would like to be your friend on facebook it will be easier for me to invite you when i go live on or when i'm discussing yeah, i don't even know who you are until the, some guy mentioned my name yeah so so you have to so please send me a request i'll accept it I don't know who you are. This is I'm, the problem. You're not listening. What is your name? Who are you? I'm called Governor S. Kagura S. Governor, okay, let me just... I'm Governor S. I'm called Governor S. Uh, I'm a musician at the same time. At the, at the same time, an But activist. I don't like that place. They, they, killed, they killed a guy in that place. Governor. Governor S. Isn't that the bar where they killed the guy? The kid? Um, it's my name. The the bars. It's, Do you own it's, that place? No, I don't own that place. It own. It's owned by okay. Vega. Yeah. Okay, I just sent your friend request. Mm. Yeah, I'm a musician at the, at the same time an activist. So I would love to be okay, hosting. Cool. I would love to be hosting you every Saturday with Milton Arimadi and so many people to talk about the political situation of Uganda. To talk about things which are paining Ugandans because I know you people are very very informed so i want you guys to share your wisdom with us perfect so i'll take yeah. questions for now i've talked enough so nice to but, meet you everybody i'll be here yeah okay. <laughs> uh, you guys ask this lady uh, this lady questions she's gonna be answering them if you are online now ask her questions about politics and whatever she's very informed um 
uh, he basically transferred titles to his people, not selling that. Why, why you didn't see money coming out of the companies and back to the, to the economy? Zan Red is saying that, so you can put some light about that. Did... Okay, what, uh, if you look at it, those properties... Okay, the parastatos, everything that was sold was not put up for public auction, mm -hmm. for bid process, mm -hmm. or advertised for anyone to bid on it. Mm -hmm. Everything was sold in silence, just like mm -hmm. what they tried to do with the Crane Bank. Mm -hmm. So Uganda, even Ugandans who had money or who had the ability to mm -hmm. purchase these things and keep them in Uganda, they had no chance. Mm -hmm. Because you must understand that... Um, the generation of our parents and even some of uh, the people who are a bit older than me, who are abroad, these people mm. could have organized and bought mm. the parastatos among themselves mm. and kept mm. them for Uganda. But mm. they had no option. We woke up, UCB was sold. We woke mm. up, the cooperative bank was sold. Mm. But not only that, the mm. next thing we heard, all the estates, the housing estates were sold. But how did they mm. get sold? We had no idea when they get sold. And mm. all the houses, I mean, we lived like... UEB had housing, um, postal, post and telecommunications had housing. Practically every state had their own housing. All the housing was taken. If you go mm. to Mbuya, to the houses which used to belong to uh, UPTL, they are all mm. now owned by uh, Banyankore. And Banyankore and uh, Rwandese, you must understand that I have nothing against you. I just mm. hate you. Mm. And the reason why I hate you is because you have not spoken up enough against mm. the injustice in Uganda. And mm. the problem with that is if you see an injustice and you do not speak up, when Museveni falls, and he will fall, I'll give you um, my ideas next weekend about how he can go down. For now, let me tell okay, you, no. what Museveni has done, he has filled all the key positions in the army, in the police, in the security organizations, in immigration, in URA, mm. practically mm. everything mm. is taken by Rwandese and Westerners. The danger with that is a minority, it's not the majority. But the population mm. of Ugandans, people are very mm. angry that when they see mm. you as a Rwandese or a Munyankole, mm. the first mm. reaction is, you people, you have made us suffer so much. You have mm. stolen everything from us. You always mm. get all the jobs. You always mm. get away with murder, which is not mm. true. Mm. But this is almost like... Um, the current situation with the Muslims, right? It's mm. a minority who are terrorists. Mm. Mm. But because the majority who are not terrorists do not speak up, True. the world has learned to hate Muslims. Mm. Mm. And this is the problem with Uganda. If people from the West and the Rwandese, you mm. do not speak up, you actually never vocalize about the injustices to the rest of the country or even to your neighbors in uh, mm. East mm. Mm. What happens with that, if there is any change in government, we're going to loot your farms, yeah. We're going to burn your houses down. We're going to lynch you. We're going to chase you out of the country as a group. I understand. Because it's global, right? Uh, so Wandis and Banyankole will have to realize that if they do not stand up and push back against what mm. Museven is doing, mm. they are going to pay a very steep price. I've seen um, Rukungiri. Rukungiri mm. finally snapped. And now you can see... People, uh, the elders from the West are starting to speak up like, hey, wait a minute, where are you taking us? You mm -hmm. know? Because mm -hmm. they know they're going to pay the price. And mm -hmm. We need more young people to be in a position where mm -hmm. they challenge the status quo so that mm -hmm. when we seven falls, your, your colleagues will not come and hunt you down and kill you just because you're a Mnyankoli or a Rwandese. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is very important. Group mm -hmm. think is very important. And mm -hmm. you just remember... Trump has managed to convince the whole world the Muslims are to be hated, except, mm. of course, the Saudis because of mm. uh, oil and ammunition, right? Mm -hmm. But he has managed to convince the entire world the Muslims mm. are very dangerous, which mm. is untrue. It's a very tiny minority. It's almost like um, when you're in Central Africa, the Christians in Central Africa kill Muslims all the time. Mm. Central African Republic is the reverse. Mm. But you see... It is always, they take a tiny minority and then they use it to reflect mm. the global majority. And this mm. is a problem that we're going to face in Uganda. Mm. So as I was saying, um, I don't hate Vanyankore and Rwandese. But mm. when I write a lot of times and I say, Westerners have done this. Westerners, I'm trying to sensitize you to understand that the, the Uganda you live in, I'm not there. I'm not going to be lynched and I'm not going to lynch you. But the mm. Uganda you, link, you live in, those mm. people will lynch you in the hall at Makere as soon as Museven falls. Uh, Martha, 
And now yes. questions are here. And it's your turn to answer questions there. Many people have asked you. Uh, uh, you'll be answering them in a brief way because there are very, very many. Okay. Uh, how okay, can you, yeah. Selex Ren is asking, how can Ugandans engage the international politician, politicians and civil activists? Okay, get hold of, um, start using Google, okay? Pick a country, for example, you want to engage um, Putin? Because Russia is paying attention. Mm. Okay. Go on Google, find out how to co contact the Kremlin, mm. and then shoot an email to them. Mm. And please make sure that the email you send to the Kremlin is written in perfect English. None mm. of those things over. Uh, Hi, uh, what's up, dear? Hi, sweetie. Mm. No, mm. learn to write properly. Write properly because when you write properly, you'll be able to write to Angela Marco. Mm. She will get it and she will read. So mm. pick a country and keep on communicating with that parliament of that country, mm. with the leaders in that country. Mm. And then take it from there. For example, I've chosen Canada. I write to uh, Ottawa all the time. Mm. But if you look at how I write, I write proper English. So mm. snap out of that mode of always writing this broken, mm. uh, broken English. Mm. No, the world mm. doesn't communicate that way. Slangs, yeah? slangs. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. Uh, another, another, que another question from Ram is saying, talk about the land issue, please. How safe are we? Okay, you are not safe about the land issue. Uh, if you go on my uh, Facebook, actually, I posted something earlier about how Museveni has managed to get away with everything and how he'll get away with everything. On uh, January 26th in Masindi, Museveni stood up and said, I am not your servant. You're mm. mistaken if you think I serve you. Ugandans mm. clapped. Prior to that, he had said, yeah, prior to that, he had said, I don't, I work for my family and my children. And mm. Ugandans had ignored it. So when mm. he said this in uh, January, he wanted to see how far he could push you, mm. and see how much he could get away with it. And he got away with it. So mm. then the next thing he comes up, he says, um, I want to be president forever. Ugandans mm. are like, ah, whatever, whatever, you know. And mm. they're joking. Museveni knows he can push you very far. He throws mm. money at Ugandans. And these idiots that you call MPs, mm. they take 29 million. And they're like, we're going to do consultation. Fuck. Why are you doing consultation on something that should not even be existing at all? Mm. So on the land issue, I can guarantee you Museveni is getting his age bill because remember the legal committee yesterday said they approve it. So the age bill is, mm. is going through, whether you like it or not. Mm. The land issue, mm. he's going to push it through. You know why he's going to push it mm. through? Because everything he has done so far, we have not resisted it. And why mm. he's going to get the land through? Because we are so divided mm. as opposi opposition. It is pathetic. Pathetic. We are mm. fighting mm. Mugisha Mutu. We are fighting Sejusa. We are fighting Mbabazi. Mm. We are fighting Leia. Meanwhile, Seven is laughing all the way to the bank, and that bill is mm. going to be signed. He gave 29 mm. million um, shillings to each MP for the age bill. Mm. Believe me, mm. he will give 2 billion to each MP mm. for the land bill. Why mm. he wants the land bill? Because once you're stripped of the land, you're homeless, you're nothing. You'll be sold to Arabs as slaves, mm. Mm. you'll be exported. Well, you'll be kicked out of your country, really. Remember what Gashomba said. If you're 35 years old and under, there are mm. three things which are going to happen to you. You're going to go into exile, you're mm. going to get murdered, or you're going to commit suicide. Mm. And he was not joking. Um, and this land bill is going to go through, because we have failed to stop yes. the age bill. Yes. And we've failed, we have failed in a horrible way. This mm. doctor's strike gave us a lot of leverage. If mm. all of us joined the doctor strike, Museven mm. would stop dead in his tracks. But the doctors are going back now, so we have no leverage. The judges yeah. are on a strike. Do you think anyone cares? Do you see anyone crying about it? No. Doctors go on strike, nobody cares. They're going back to work. Land mm. uh, H bill goes through. So what leverage do we have for the land bill? We have nothing. Mm. He has enough money to bribe everybody. And our, this habit of us, um, when the MPs come to talk to us, we're consulting you online, burn them down. Mm, Why mm. are you allowing them to even talk to you? Do mm. you know that the last thing that Ugandans have right now is land? Mm. This, and by the way, this is very important. There's something called forced urban migration. Mm. Okay. First of all, the Balalo need land. Mm. Seven has made a decision to import refugees into Uganda to take away land from the people mm. in Uganda. Mm. Okay. He's using um, investments. Do not believe that shit. Do you know how much land was given to uh, the Indians in Vusoga? Have you seen how many of them die of jiggers? 
I mean, Jesus. like they're literally dying of poverty, and mm. they gave away their land for development. Then Northern Uganda, Madivan, the other day said, oh, oh they, they got that land, 40,000 acres. What's, mm. what's the problem with that? They were no inhabitants of the land. Do you remember that the inhabitants went in um, IDP camps? One seven was raising down their land mm. and killing their people. So these flimsy excuses of we want land for development do not accept it. All the countries in the world where they need land for development, the land owners will be compensated will be relocated somewhere else before their land is taken away. Or if they're on their land and oil and minerals are being drilled on their land, they will get royalty payment every month. So you need to think a bit harder. They're coming to give you five million. Oh, I need five million because my child is going to miss university if I don't have the five million. So I'm going to sell you my land. Oh, you you give the five million. Next semester you won't have the five million. And your brat is gonna graduate and your brat is gonna go wash dishes in mm. the, for the Arabs or get raped in the Arab country. Let the kid drop out of school for crying out loud. Don't sell your land. It's called selling your land under duress. And when you sell your land under duress, government changeover, we will claim back all the land. But right now, we do not know when the government will fall. So you're going mm. to be landless and homeless. You're going to be forced to move into the urban centers. Mm. Like uh, the Karamojong. You know, they say those kids are always in the streets in Kampala begging, right? Mm. So mm. if you have no land in the village, you either have to work for the Balalo, or you have mm. to work for the Indians at slave mm. wages, or you mm. have to ma- move into, cam- into town. And mm. that is called forced urban migration. Forced mm. urban migration creates a pool of cheap labor for these investors that are coming in. They True. rape your girls, they beat up your mothers, they pay them 50,000 shillings a month, and you don't even pay attention. Do not mm. let anyone take away your land. If it's school uh, fees you need, let the kids drop out of school. Yeah, Martha. Uh, Mathias is saying, Martha, I have been reading your posts on, face, on Facebook, and I love you because you are informed. Matovu um, Abudu is saying, what can leader do to avoid divide and rule? Um, Martha, try to be brief because there are many questions here. Okay. What the leaders can do right now, divide and uh, rule, the divide and rule will continue. If all the leaders do not sit down in one room and fight it out, put them, mm. lock them away for three mm. days in a retreat, say at one of, uh, not even Munyonyo, those places are too expensive. Mm. Take them to a school during these mm. holidays. Lock them up in one school, like um, rent a school. Buildings mm. are empty. Put all the leaders there for three days. Have them fight it out and have them come out with a consensus to work together. Until mm. they work together, Museveni mm. will rule forever. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Michael, we got talk about Coffee Marketing Board. Uh, talk about what? Coffee Marketing Board. The Coffee Marketing Board was killed by Museveni. My brother-in-law used to run that shop. Mm. Coffee marketing board was killed when the cooperatives were killed. Mm. And you must remember that everything to do with coffee had to be killed in order for the western part of Uganda to arise mm. as the center for coffee. And, and mm. those guys produce robusta anyway. They don't even produce Arabica like us. But if you remember, coffee died completely. Mm. And up comes Andrew Rugasira. Mm. <laughs> Is an Andrew Gassira one of the most successful people in the country? Yeah. Has anyone ever asked how much money Museven gave him to prop him up? Has anyone ever asked how all the coffee corporations died except he came up as the eat? Right? Yeah. And of course, I have issues with Nandala. But you know how, how much Nandala fought to keep BCU going, like going alone? And by the way, the people who are in Wugisu that uh, accept uh, Mugati from... Um, from Museveni are always putting down Nandala, saying he embezzles, he does this. Mm. Why would he embezzle? That guy is loaded by the... He has a lot of cash outside of Uganda. Mm. Mm. So Coffee Marketing Board had to die with all the cooperatives in order to allow Rugasira to rise up and to allow the West to rise up. And on that aspect, you must remember, Museveni told the people from the East and North to uproot all their coffee and those funny plants, and then he gave mm. them seedlings of um, manga dam and oranges. Meanwhile, in the West... He was giving coffee and tea. Do you mm. see? Uh huh. Oh, you are informed, the Martha. Matov Abudu is like, uh, and does and, and does defiance is defiance needed in Uganda or not? Or not? Is defiance, defiance needed in, in Uganda? Uganda? 
okay, defiance is needed in Uganda, but I have a different uh, take on that. Every mm. time you go out into the streets, someone's kid mm. is getting killed, right? Mm. Have you ever seen mm. Vesge's son get killed? Mm. None of your leaders have seen their sons or daughters being killed. Defiance mm. in the streets will not work. And the reason why mm. it will not work is because we're not doing it on a massive scale. The mm. only way that it works is if the whole country is galvanized. Mm. You hit the streets of Kampala, mm. you've got Entebbe, Masaka, Jinja, Iganga, Mbale, Soroti, Kapchowa, Guru, Lira. You've got everybody in the streets. Mm. Kaihuranda, his, his friends would be running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Mm. But this, this point of doing defiance on Kampala Road one day every three months, they must have You people, you ashamed me. Mm -hmm. The other way that we can do defiance is if we do, if we do it um, like uh, what Cameroon did. Mm. Cameroon woke up one day, the English uh, Cameroon, they woke up one day, nobody left their house. Students did not go to school, taxi drivers did not go out, mm. no medical staff went out, everything became dead, ghost mm. town. Mm. Then Bia sent people in the, in the streets, um, he sent his army in the streets to uh, beat up people and shoot them and tear gas them, but there was nobody in the street. And then mm. the army along the way, they realized they're hungry. No restaurants were open. The market, mm. nobody was selling anything. Mm. That's when Paul Beer decided to come to the table and talk to opposition. So mm. this, um, the, the minor defiance thing that we do here, we go and demonstrate once and uh, that's it. They shoot one kid and then we fear and then we don't go. Don't do it. Just speak. Mm. One week, everybody stay at home. Stay at home. Shut down Kampala. Mm. I saw him second mm. fall mm. within three days. Most times, mm. most of us who have analyzed this, we figure if we shut off everything, seven days maximum. But ideally, within mm. three days, seven mm. will fall. But this needs consensus. And how can we have consensus when our leaders themselves are not united? So we have to go, everybody has to go back to their leader and tell them, stop, stop trashing um, vestige or stop trashing power. You people sit down mm. and figure it out. Eh? We're waiting for you to lead us. Yeah, they have to be united. Uh, yeah. Zan, Zan Ready C is, is, uh, is saying, Zan Ready C, that's her name, is saying, is, is Martha know anything in Liga to Lake Victoria freshwater ownership or business partners? Um, Lake Victoria was sold in, 19, in 2014. I actually mm. recently shared something about that. It was um, 2014, the article appeared, I can't remember, it was either Reuters or VBC. It appeared that um, Museveni had sold, um, NRM had sold Lake Victoria. Mm. Then um, Daily Monitor printed a story that Lake Victoria had been sold. Within six hours, that story was pulled down, and then mm. the story was replaced with um, Parliament is probing rumors that the government has sold Lake Victoria. Mm. And of course, uh, Irene Maloney, and I hate that bitch. You can even tell her that. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> and then she said, we never sold the lake. We never mm. saw, she, she never saw the lake. Well, this is the same woman who, was, um, who went to um, Wudadili or one of those funny places where I come from and said, mm. oh, my people, and does age limit to be lifted? Some seven can rule us forever. Yeah, she also is the minister of oil. Mm. I have a story. So what happens is that the government denied it. But mm. Um, mm. the truth is they gave rights mm. to, uh, I think it's some Chinese, mm. apparently to develop the shorelines. Mm. You can, you can usually give people the rights to develop the shorelines, but if you notice it, Lake Victoria, they've been sand mining and mm. destroying the shoreline, mm. right? They are going to uh, fishing landing sites and they're harassing our people. They are not fishing as much as they used to, to do before. They are um, curtailing people fishing small fish, saying it's a size problem. Yeah. And this is normal because I used to own um, a fish company. There is a way yeah, you can control size if you organize. Mm. Mm. But um, they're preventing our people from fishing because um, people have got uh, fish, um, fish farms. The fish mm. farms are these um, like nets you put in the lake and you put mm. fish in there and you feed it and then it grows really fast and you export it. Yeah. If you people ever go um, read about Ghana, most of West Africa, the mm. Koreans and Chinese were given, given exclusive fishing rights mm. off the coast of West Africa. They depleted all the fish. Mm. And this is what is happening with uh, Lake Victoria. 
So when they tell you they did not sell the lake, just think about the sand mining, the learning sites, the fishing that's curtailed, and mm. also ask yourselves, why is it that the marine was given to the army? Oh, because Jesus remember, I've talked, about, I've talked about the Museveni militarizing everything. Mm. Fisheries is now controlled by the military. Mm. Was it controlled by the military before? No. No. Because they're protecting their, their investments. Mm. So Lake Victoria was sold, mm. but not sold fully because you can't sell a, um, a lake, but you can sell the rights. Mm. And some of those rights for Ugandans, I believe about 50% were sold off. Oh, thanks for that. Kiwanu Karola and Roni. What can I say? What I can say, Western world will suffer after downfall of Western side. Western side, I think Western Uganda will suffer after mm -hmm. the downfall of Museveni. Northern Uganda is suffering after Obote Central. After o Obote Central suffered after Kabaka Mutesa going in exile. What do you talk about his point? Okay, this I guess I mentioned that this person I think just joined when I was saying that I don't hate Banyankore and Rwandis, but mm. it's because they're not standing up against the injustices being mm. implemented on the rest of the country. And mm. when Museven goes down, if um, our Rwandis friends do not, if they are not very vocal now about mm. resisting what Museven is doing, when Museven falls, for a fact, we are going to lynch them. We're going to chase them out. We're going to loot their farms. We're going to burn their houses down. We're going to steal their animals. We're going to have trauma. We're going to have a party. Master, you have energy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have sister to stir on yours. <laughs> uh, people ask me that before. Now, I'm in Uganda. I'm still in Uganda. I'm in Soga. Oh, I'm in Soga. Michael Wega is like, Martha, can Ugandans overthrow their government? If yes, how? Yes, they can overthrow the government. Just assassinate him seven. <laughs> well, let's, let's be practical. He has the army. All the security organ, organ, organs are infiltrated by his people. We mm. cannot do it the Zimbabwe way. The only way we can do it the Zimbabwe way is if we befriend mm. all the security. We befriend UPDF, we befriend UPF, we mm. befriend my SFC, all those people. The mm. problem is we need to befriend the people who okay. are in power. And the people who are in power are Museveni's uh, Vahima, mm. the closest ones, right? Like, mm. We have our own people in the army, mm. but they're totally useless. Look at mm. uh, what is it, Eruero. Eruero, the idiot, took mm. orders and, and butchered people in Kasese. Mm. Mm. So his own people, uh, Museveni set him up, so mm. we hate him. We cannot go to him. Mm. And then you look at Katumba Omara. Katumba Omara beat the shit out of Zake. Mm -hmm. was he so, all the people that we had in the army that could help us because they are our own people their hands are tied we hate mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and Museven can get rid of them anytime but mm -hmm. the thing is Museven is also very dangerous because who knew that Aronda would Brieta, fall no. uh, uh, we, we are soon going out um, let me first finish presenting here like in 20 minutes then I come yeah, yeah. okay, so, oh, okay. We cannot overthrow Museveni yeah. through the army. Ugandans mm. have never liberated themselves. Mm. Remember? For Amin, it took Tanzania to take mm. him down. Mm. For um, Obote, it took Rwanda to take him mm. down. Mm. Ugandans have never liberated themselves. Ugandans are very good at celebrating liberation. You tell mm. them tomorrow, ah, Vanange, uh, Kagame has come and overthrown Museveni. They will all mm. go into the street and celebrate. But for them to do it, they cannot do it. So the only way we can do this is someone should uh, date him 70 and assassinate him. <laughs> uh, Martha, um, actually, it was great having you on my forum, but I would love just to host like a full program, like a full two hours just with Martha, because you will have, <laughs> you, you are so informed. Uh, I'm out for now. I'm, I'm really so okay, grateful to, be, to, 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 to host you on my forum. I'm looking forward to host you another time. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank Take care. Keep reading. Okay. 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 Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bane Baganda wangi, muna oso nyu wasige na kusuka uwa no. Um, Muganda wangi wano afumbi ya kamere. Nachadeke wachari wange. Kasoke ndi ya kamere wangi tanyigira. Pozi tuja kudamuru na kudulara. Ngenda kumela na abantu ungabu wano. Mbabu ulira peji ya gabana ese genda kutabuka. Zimbabu ulira. Tuweza kumela na obabu matha inu peji na etatabuka. Na obabu militoni alimadi babu iso vichi. Varamu vani vanji nyu. Mbaga na nyu. Kasoke mpita muzi komedi za mwempora mpora.
mbasibule um, the solution of eh bana nyingi nyo matovu abudu aiza kamwanda mayani basho mutaxi alex sarongo matovu abudu saraketu rarix sili saida naki muri na bagowe grace seraketu eh bana imwe nazi rabye nyingi nyo nyo kusta ethel na habwe grace uh, muzei abudu saraketu ya yeah. bana imwe raba mwe na mwe na mbaga nyo baganda bange mushyalinge video eno tujja kudamuru na kulala kisses and hugs take care